Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 50, what? The Real Talking Podcast with your hosts, Ash and JD. Now I was going to get the party poppers out, but I can't have Mrs Chapman moaning at me that I've got to clean up after the, <laughs> the mess that it'd be made. But instead of that, I have got a, you've already cracked yours, I've yeah. so don't listen to the lies. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, cheeky little beer. <laughs> <laughs> A little cheers. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's no Aunt Bessie's, but, you know, it's a nice lager. Mm. <laughs> uh, Which is probably my favourite lager, I must admit. Yeah, it, wow. as a, a standard lager, even though it's classed as a premium lager, it is one of the better tasting ones. I've never really rated Prony. Mm. Budweiser as well. I mean, I can I can drink it when it's cold on draft, but bottles and cans, no. Um, How do you feel about Madry? Madry's all right. I don't like Madry. I, I can't. I say I can't. Get a headache from I, it. I don't like having too many of them. Yeah. Because I, a couple of points, it's okay, but yeah, I couldn't stay on them all night. Just, yeah, the yeah. taste starts to get boring to me a little bit. Um, I know what you mean with the headaches, but to be fair, I think since I stopped drinking... Lager, like primarily lager, because uh, obviously I'll drink Guinness and ales and whatever. And our besties. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen them since. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't surprised. Probably going to be a Christmas <laughs> thing to do. But uh, yeah, I've, like, so every now and again, when I do just have a night of lager, I do f- not not feeling like a hangover or anything, but you do feel the remnants yeah, of yeah, yeah. So essentially, what I'm saying is, I'll know that I've been drinking lager the night before, as opposed to if I add a skin full of Guinness or whatever. Right, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I mean, it's not always party time. We can't always be on the woo-woos, can we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, uh, oh, yeah, because you're out on the beers tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, having some beers, going for some food, some sushi, should be a good one, breaking the diet. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but, terrible. I've still not done anything different with my diet. No. Still just eating, well... I, I, I sound a bit bad when I say like eating what I want and that. It's just I have no preference. I'm not trying yeah, to yeah, eat yeah, little yeah. or watch what I eat and that. It's just if I fancy having a, a, a frozen pizza, I'll throw one in. That's you know, it. if uh, I want a lasagna or whatever, just yeah. have it. You know, I'm not always about counting the calories. I yeah. ain't too fussed. So also, obviously, this is going back to um, I me. Mean, I'm going back now to the New Year's one where we said some revolutions, mm-hmm. and I said like. So I'm on track with that one. Well, not to cut you in your tracks, yeah. but since you are about to go on that, we will do a quick correspondence. Um, so Miles, uh, the uh, Miles emailed the other day. Okay. Uh, all gassed, uh, so gassed that you're reading my emails out. Uh, all caught up now, I think. How's the the New Year's goals oh, going? Okay. Uh, diet and being a dad, well, Lord, for you. Um, Dad didn't make any New Year's resolutions. Happy yeah. being me is what it says. And also, I didn't know he emailed, so we can go straight into that, and that's perfect timing there, Joe. Well, the, yeah. there is other stuff I'm going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but but yeah, you, yeah, I know what you're saying. You've know, you got to try and do that's a bit it. of a segue, haven't you? That's it. You're getting good this way. <laughs> you're getting... <laughs> you're getting... <laughs> you're getting... <laughs> you're getting... <laughs> just like, shut up, mate. Shut up. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, well, yeah, you're about to say how your diet's going yeah. from the New Year's resolution. Yeah, really well. So I've started it at 218 pounds at the at current this day. I'm 200.6 pounds, so there's 17 pounds different. I'm just trying to get into those 190, so I've got a week left. Uh, but yeah, really happy with it. I'm going to yeah. do another one after, straight after, a 12-week one straight into the summer. So hopefully I'll have abs. That, that, that's the goal then. But um, So when you start the next one, have you got a goal weight that you're intending to get to at the end of that? No, because with this one, I wanted to get to 05. Mm. It's more just the visual from it. Mm. Um, if I carry on the way with the weight loss that I am, which is about a pound and a half a week at the moment, because you know how it is when you weigh more. Yeah. You know, when you, sorry, when you weigh less, you have to walk more to burn more calories than you was when you was 18 pounds heavier. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's more just carrying on. You know, I reckon oh, I don't want to put a number on it now. If I can get 190 after the 12 weeks, that's 10 pounds, which is doable. 
And I think that's probably where I want to be with it because I don't want to be totally strict with this one as well. With this one, I've been quite strict. Besides the after plan meal once once a week. Yeah, well, you got to have a cheat yeah, meal. Yeah, yeah. I try not to have a, a cheat meal, mate. But it's like I eat one meal and I'm full then for the rest of the day because, you know, just eating like light meals throughout the week. Yeah, yeah. So have you I, looked into any of those fibre drinks, though? So you get the powder, no. you put it in water, and then it, essentially you're filling yourself up before no. eating a meal. No, no, because I, after me, <clears throat> I'm not hungry on this diet. That's why I like it. Mm. And that's why when I said to him, I don't want to, ch- if I carry on, I don't want to change my diet. Yeah. Because it's just, I never get hungry. It's just on the weekends, you know, when you start wanting stuff. When you do your shopping. Especially when you, oh. you're doing nothing as well. Because you know, I, I tend to find if I'm sitting around for a, an hour or so uh, and I haven't eaten yet, then it will just pop in my head. Because I do mm. always think about food. Because as I've said plenty of times before, I enjoy cooking and that. So a lot of the time I will think about what I'm going to cook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, going to be uh, barbecue chicken wings and chips. tonight. it's nice. Easy. Um, so yeah, because I'm I'm thinking about that mm. quite often. So if I'm literally not doing something, and then that thought pops in my head, then I'll be thinking, "Oh, I'm hungry now." But even with earlier, uh, sitting there, I had uh, about an hour and a half to go before my fast time would have been ended, mm. or like, the sixteen hour point anyway. And it was just like, "Oh yeah, I'll probably have some toast in a bit then." And as soon as I thought about that, that's it. My so, bed is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so at least when I'm I'm working or doing stuff like out walking a dog or whatever. If that thought pops in my head, it doesn't bother me as much. Right. Yeah. yeah. If it's a weekend and you're not doing anything, you, or as you say, you're shopping, because that's one of the worst yeah. things if you're hungry or you see something, you think that looks really Shopping nice, on an empty stomach is the wrong thing. And I, we always do. I always say to my partner that we shouldn't do it, but I end up doing it and it kills me now sometimes. But, um, yeah, I can't. I've lost my track. What I was gonna say. Where was where was I? Well, so you don't having a cheap meal or anything. Yeah. It's so just... yeah. So with the next one, because I do sometimes I come in. And I'm like, I would love a little takeaway. So I'm I'm not gonna just have a takeaway every time. But for eight weeks, I haven't had a takeaway. We went out you for food. You had a KFC last week. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's that's a no. That is <laughs> no. But on my defence, yeah, that was a a chicken duo, four pound, a chicken burger, and chicken wings. Do you know what I mean? But so, it's still a tag. Yeah, yeah. So it's, oh, yeah, yeah, no. I lied then, yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, I forgot. Uh, Th- but you that, know, look. That was, a, that was a Frank special, yeah. that was then. Because my dad always comes out, like, oh, I ain't had a takeaway for ages. He'll have a Chinese twice a week, easily. Yeah. But when I, <laughs> so you know when I say takeaway, I mean like, because I ate it, and I, I wanted more. But like a takeaway, you know when you, you just. Yeah, you get a big fat pizza, burgers, and chips, everything called on the side. That's it, that's it, yeah, yeah. Because I had that. I mean, it was just a single burger and um, chicken wings. I was still hungry after, but I didn't eat mm. after that. But yeah, no, I forgot about that, actually. But yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just like maybe if I want something, just having it to reward myself rather than, you know, it depends. It is good, though, when you see the scales and you've gone, lighter every day or it doesn't know it go lighter every day it goes up and down but you know yeah yeah I, I know that uh feeling that you got because when i was weighing myself a lot when i was paying more attention to be mm. when you you get in on those scales after a week because i wasn't doing it every day like what you did but uh yeah you seen like three or four pounds gone because it was uh more weight for me to lose that's why i was losing so much so quickly um so, yeah, you do, you think, oh, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. I'm really happy with it. But, yeah, once, I don't know, pretty much since like November, I'll be like, oh, whatever, I'm all right mm. now. I'm not putting on weight, so I don't care. Yeah. Um, drink's my main thing. I know if I stop drinking on a weekend and that, then it would yeah. drop off even more. That's, and that's the thing, you, you, you know what you could do to lose weight. And it's like, for me, because I'm going to the gym, <laughs> you know, I was going to the gym three, four times a week, and I was still putting the weight on. And I, I'm like, I'm going to the gym. And I was just going to the gym just because I know I wanted to scram. Mm. Like, just to counteract it. And I've always said for, like, maybe seven years now, like, what I said on the, uh, on the New Year show, that, you know, I wanted a challenge from me, like, to, a reason to go. And it's given me that reason. 12 weeks. We'll see. Uh, well, I'm, well, let's, yeah, I'll put a number on it, 190. Because muscle's got to start catching up then, so... Mm. Maybe one nine, but it's more visually for me. 
Yeah. So well, you want in that sort of like Ryan Reynolds shirtless where you got a little bit of V, a little bit of a six pack coming out. Yeah, but that's like, he must be like, <clears> I, don't, I wouldn't want to even want to put a number on the percent of body fat he's got. No, I'd just, I'd just be happy just a little bit more leaner than I am still. Like, and I feel from a work life balance, it, it can stay. Because obviously he doesn't, he doesn't have a six pack all year. Do you know what I mean? It's just, no. Yeah, so it's just something that's attainable all year without. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So when I says Ryan Reynolds, I was thinking more of the younger Ryan Reynolds, like in Blade, Blade yeah, no. or uh, X Men. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he? when he was. A dead, so he was, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. slim. Yeah. So, so something... not much definition, but there was still that. Vein right. There. Yeah. Something like that would be perfect. Mm. I would say. Oh, I'd love to get something like that, but I think that might take longer than twelve weeks. But we'll see. We'll see. But I was what I was gonna say is, uh, yeah, it's always been in my mind. And I, you know, how TikTok <laughs> listens to you. Yeah, the you know, algorithms all psychics, man. And I, honestly, just that learning piano it just keeps coming up on my thing now. And you've still it, not started. No. I haven't started. I've asked my sister if she's got a keyboard though. She's still got it. So yeah, we'll give that a go. I can't remember what one was actually. You know, I, I know don't even know. Free. What I know we've done three. I don't, I, you know, I, as I read the, the email from Mars, I should have went back and listened to what the work was. Yeah. I don't even know what I says. I, I don't remember. think I'm committed to anything actually, because I know I know what says along the lines of I ain't bothered about my weight and I'll carry on into yeah. fasty. Um, was it to work less? Was yours to like to have a Friday off? Like, probably. I mean, yeah. this is the main reason to have a Friday. Yeah. Off. Um, I mean, I'd love to have Mondays off as well. Yeah, and uh, Tuesdays. Yeah, and Wednesdays. Nah, no, I know no, I've no, said no. it before. I'd, I'd have to do no. like three days a week if if I had enough money or you know like won the lottery or not, I'd have to do the couple oh. of days because I'd, I'd just I'd drink myself to an early grave. I know I would. Yeah, mate. I'd rather do that than I'd rather do that than go work. Yeah, but I wouldn't be properly. I wouldn't be working like I am now. No, I get you it, know, but I'd, still, I'd just, like, I'll be supervising. I would love to never set alarm in the morning. You know what I'm saying? That'd be great. I have alarms instead at the moment, but it, since the clock's changed, which I know we're about to go into a clock change mm. again in a couple of weeks, because like, my natural body clock wakes me up at four, but then since the clock's changed, it's been three o'clock. Oh. And like, you know, I wake up a couple of minutes past three and this and that, I'm like, for God's sake, and I struggle to get back to sleep again, right. especially when I don't need to get up at four. Yeah. But... It's been four for years anyway. Uh, obviously, just getting up early, taking the dog out for a walk, and driving off to wherever. But uh, yeah, it's it's horrible. That's why I'm in bed early all the time. Mm. But then I hate that because you go to bed, the TV's on. Well, you don't have a TV on in your bedroom, but I put the TV on, and you're still flicking through your phone. And then like, an hour or so later, and you're still awake. And it's hard for I know it doesn't help by having the phone. It's one thing having the TV on in the background, but. Looking at your phone, it doesn't help mm. because your brain's not allowing it. Well, you're not allowing your brain to start to wind down and switch off. Using That's it. it. So, yeah, I suppose that probably should have been a New Year's resolution. Mm. When I get to bed, put the phone to the side. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I can't remember the rest of yours, actually. I can't remember that last one. I, I, can't... Sad, I don't really think I had anything. No, um, I can't remember. I language for you, wasn't it? Yes, that's it. Oh, mate, another thing. <laughs> no, honestly, <laughs> because... When we mentioned that last time, it's all I got was literally language because I said Italian, yeah, that's it, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I'm the beamer, as well, wait, Cheers. Italia, uh, <laughs> yeah, just to speak Italian, you can throw some dirty hand signals as well. But you always are, though, yeah, so but that's like, what you need the Italian because you were always doing that, <laughs> you have the proper wrist flick as yeah. well, man. <laughs> love it, yeah, no, nah, yeah, uh, so language, nowhere near. I said the language because our work was so dead. Mm. Like all last year, I could just, I was on my phone for like five hours and I could have learned to see on my phone and I should have actually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like when work dies down again, I'll definitely be doing well, that. Because I think, I think it's Duolingo that the missus uses. And uh, yeah, she, because that's annoying, man. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll be up in a minute and you just hear the fucking, because it's like a, uh, you know, like you get a correct answer and you get the ding ding, like fucking, mm. just a, a little fucking correct noise and that. And I hear that and fucking, she's talking to the phone. I'm like, for fuck's sake, man. Do it during the day. Because isn't she learning two languages, though? I think it was German. German was definitely one. Uh, 
Was he Spanish the, or French? No, the mo- she might have been doing one. Or Mandarin. Well. Yeah, I think she was doing Korean and Japanese. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so for a, a pale ass white girl that's ginger, she tries uh, a few strange things. I know he's not, oh, I was going to say strange <laughs> because you just said it. It is weird how, well, I don't know if it's weird or brave learning two at the same time, totally opposite. Yeah, for, for Asian languages, yeah, it's that's that's two hard ones to do at the same time, I'd say. Because th- I know for just a generic person that is outside of you know all of these cultural differences. Now, I do know there's a difference between the Chinese, Japanese, and that anyway, yeah, yeah. but you know, as an old stereotype, they all sound the same. <laughs> now, I know that they don't, but. Mm-hmm. When you hear the words, it does. It's like I can still hear, um, like listen to French, Italian, Spanish, and that, and I can hear yeah, the, the similar words. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, even though you can hear there's a difference, you can kind of piece bits together yeah. to work it out because you like, oh yeah, that sounds like this, right, that sounds right. like that. So I think it's just because of that, because of I can hear those correlations in my head. But that they I can are, do that. They are, that is weird. How she's. Oh, I said it again, like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I, I'd say hard. German. So that's a thick European. Obviously Japanese. And then what was the one, sorry? I think Korean. Korea. So like, you're going from a hard, I'd say, is German, I don't know if German would be a hard European language to learn. I can imagine it not being the easiest to learn because it's it's a lot of tongue moving. Any? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you, know, do you get what I'm saying? No, no, like, it's the only tongue movement she does. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like to like, like to articulate the words you have to it's like everything's like Strasbourg and it's, yeah, yeah I, it's, I think there's a reason why she doesn't really do it while I'm in close pro- <laughs> uh, like, pro- proximity yeah, yeah. Um, because like, a few times when she has done it and with the German like, I'll be there like nine <laughs> got that wrong nine nine <laughs> like you know obviously I don't know what I'm saying but uh yeah, that's when she usually just tells me to fuck off. Mm. She's a daddy thing in my yeah. household. Um, it's a good job she's not there for half the week. <laughs> <laughs> just no. me and the dogs, yeah. Grace. But uh, what was that? What, what, what was Marcy's question again? Sorry. So, so he asked about that, which obviously... Yeah, asking yeah. about the diets and that. Uh, how's the New Year's goals going? Uh, and how's being a dad? Right. So, summary, diet's going really well. I haven't signed the other two. Planning on the piano soon or before the language. And being a dad, yeah, being great. Just... Just getting into that routine now where it feels normal. I'm not saying he didn't before, but it's a lot of chopping and changing. But it feels now I'm back to work. It's been a few weeks, a few months. And she's got her own personality. Yeah, you, you know what you've she had likes. the time yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to get into that routine, yeah. as you say, and uh, adapt to the new change. You know, mm. really. But now she's, uh, it's, it's good. It's different. It, but it's really, it's rewarding. You know, it is nice when you get a picture every day of her like, being cute and you're like, yeah but again because not from my own experience but from what you say and that you you have had it quite easy mm. now i know you you've, you've not had it 100 percent easy but compared yeah. to stories from other parents yeah yeah we've like completely sleepless nights right no routine yeah and like you know just fucking piss tramping it around mm. basically because you you've running off a 20 minute sleep all day yeah. I hope you haven't jinxed it, but yeah, yeah, she's in general. Yeah, you have been on She, yeah. she's um, to be honest, she's she stays awake all through the day. She has like little twenty minute power naps, but then once we put her down in the soil sleeper at night, that's it. She stirs a few times for a dummy, and then maybe once, the other few times, twice she, she cries for a bottle, but that's it really. Yeah, so you quite. Yeah, yeah cause some, I moment. know some people that have to uh, have had to have had the baby on them, or the baby slept, and then woke the partner up and swapped, so they gave the baby then to the partner to sleep on that person's well, chest. My mum didn't have that luxury because dad was never up, but uh, <laughs> I, I was that baby. Like, yeah. If I was put down, I was awake again. Mm. So uh, mum used to. It's like the body contact, isn't it? That some babies. Yeah, there's comfort can't. and all yeah, that, yeah. isn't he? Um, so yeah, she'd be like up throughout the night most of the time because she, she used to say she'd be watching the old WWF and that on the TV yes. back on Channel 4 back then that was you know 
you know. Yeah, that was literally when we was yeah. babies, mate. You know, fucking hell. Um, yeah, and she'd be watching all sorts of just random stuff. Uh, I don't know why she wouldn't go to sleep as well, though. No, fair enough, she'd be holding me, but... It's in case she, she rolled over onto you, I suppose. No, I think she was sitting up. I don't know, man. I, yeah. I don't remember. But they always say, I don't know, that if it's a naughty child, it's uh, good as they get older. Toddler, yeah, yeah. And then, and then good baby. if it's a good baby, then worse right. as they get older. So well, I hope that I hope she doesn't follow <laughs> that palette. Uh, yeah. But now she's uh, she's really well. Right? It I, is. I think when she does start to get to her teens and that, going off with the way your missus is... <laughs> No, I don't think she's going to be too bad. No, I know. You know, because there's not m- much of a fiery temper. You know, she thinks she's got the banter in that, but she hasn't. But, uh, mm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think it'll be all right, really. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. As long as yeah. uh, she doesn't start trying to bring around a, well, a load of lads no, uh, and this and that when you... This is this is the thing. When you want a girl, you think, you know, baby girl, toddler, you know, when she just wants a dad, a mum or whatever. But mm. then it's when... To get to that fourteen, fifteen, I hope they're just ain't a bitch. But I don't think she will be. I suppose that's how you bring. I suppose it's a little bit. Wait, right, it's gonna be how you bring them up. Oh, yeah, man, I don't know. I, I think once once she's old enough and she starts getting, like, realizing what's going on, understanding how the world works, yeah. that's when you got to wind back in on the spoiling because that's it's the spoiled kids. They're the ones that you see as the little dickheads all the mm. time. So I think as you, long, as long as you keep her in check. Right, in yeah, and just give her a little backhand over here and there when she needs it. Even if she's not done anything, just go. No. Let, let her know that you're there. <laughs> Wait, I don't think you can even heal a kid no more. You know, no, like you back in the no. day, you could get a slap. And damn, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure you can't even do none of that. No, uh, no I, don't, I couldn't. See, you know, like how your dad, I, I assume, would smack you. Yeah, quite I had it for no reason. I, I can't ever imagine me wanting to, no matter how naughty she, she ever got, hitting her. No. You'll, you'll feel different when it comes to it because there will be a point in time when you will want to just fucking grab body heads. What the fuck are you doing? Right. Now, mm. you know, time will tell with that one anyway, but I, I had it for just no reason whatsoever in that, man. Um, well, I don't know if I've told it on the pod before, but I remember one time uh, Dad's old little Red Rover Metro, uh, he picked me up on the weekends and it was central locking, but it didn't work properly. Right. Old car and that log. I mean, it wasn't old at the time, but yeah. So as I'd get out the passenger side, I'd have to push the lock button in because it was the old up and yeah, down yeah, yeah, lever yeah. on the side. So I'd have to push it in and shut the door. And that was the passenger side lock then. And so do that all the time. And then one time I've done it as I'm supposed to. Yeah, all happy days. But dad had left the keys in the ignition and he's already got out. So as I've done it, the whole car's locked. Yeah. And I've got a roll smack around the side of the head. And I was just confused, but I'm not, I don't know, paid or whatever. And I, I didn't understand why I was getting a smack for yeah, doing what I was told yeah, to do yeah. all the time. You know, I didn't know that the keys were in there. I didn't know that would happen. I was just doing what I was told. So that kind of thing, yeah, don't do that. But I was, I was on a job the other day, and the, the chap was all, uh, on about um, that a friend of his, uh, an old work colleague, he works with uh, the kids that have got these problems and that. And he was like, you know, Jay, because... Uh, when we was kids and that, he was just seen as like a naughty child. But I says, mate, I know where you're going. I says, every kid is classed as autism, ADHD, everything these days. So I know what you're getting at. And he's like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, we we just get a slap as a kid and that. I like, I know, I get it, I know. And uh, yeah, but you can't, you you really can't. I've, I've seen a, a load of videos about it um, as well. Like there was this one uh, chap he was saying that. Uh, so he'd done his, his crimes in the past, he's got his criminal record, and then it's like, I don't know, 10 years past, so it should be clean, but it still stops him from getting a job and whatever. Uh, but basically, some people have been calling him, getting him round to the house, just to tell the kids off for disrespecting the parents and that. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you know, saying, you're going to end up doing this time and whatever if you don't get into shape and sort your life out. So giving them a fear that they, they can't get from the yeah, parents no yeah, more than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that is the, the main problem with the kids, is that there isn't a fear factor. You know, we wouldn't have... I know a lot of kids, when we were, you know, 10 to 16 or whatever, were still fucking around. But in general, we wouldn't have been the kids 
to throw stones at windows or something mm. because you'd be scared that they'd they know your yeah, parents yeah. or they'd come out and still give you a slap or they'd tell your parents and then you get a slap right. and you get told off on that. Uh, because it was, it was, you had that fear. So we, we wouldn't fuck around like that. Mm. Even though, as I say, I know a lot of the kids still did, but, you know, they were the ones that did, even though it weren't diagnosed, they were the ones with autism and ADHD when you look back at it. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they all just don't give a shit now, do that. No. You know, I remember uh, one time, near Lee Village, I think it was, uh, look, just these, these, a couple of lads, they were probably like 10 to 12 or something, and, they just kept like standing in and out of the like, from the pavement into the road as I'm driving towards them. And it's like they started like egging me on then as if to say, hit me, hit me with the car. And because I've already been, so you know, get the fuck out of the road. And then they're there, then like, go on, hit me then, hit me then. And so I put my foot down. Now I, I wouldn't have hit them if they would, wouldn't have jumped out of the way mm. anyway. I would have maneuvered around. But I thought, now nah, fuck yeah, you want to fucking play this game then, let's go. No. Uh, yeah, I could just see him in the mirror then, like, you know, sticking the fingers yeah. up and all that. And that, that's the kind of thing I thought, I wouldn't have even dreamt of doing that when I was a kid because I would have got hit by yeah, the car. Yeah. And then, like, dad would have just given me a slap as well then, saying you shouldn't have been fucking around. Like, it, you just, it is just different generations. But that, that, that's got to have some kind of bad parenting where you want to jump out in front of a car. You know, when you're 10, 12, you walk in Lee Village, something's not right, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. As I say, if anyone knows Lee Village, you'll know where one about. It's not. It's not a classy area. It's no. It's just fucking shit. But no, Miles. Thank you for your email. Yeah, always appreciate really. it. And we are glad to hear that you are all caught up. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, you can send it's us some weekly now. Yeah, send us uh, emails or text us. You know, uh, on the the real talk hotline. Uh, mm. And the number, if you didn't catch it last week, it is still going to be in the um, descriptions and on the YouTube video floating all around here and there every now and again. So it's 07 470 488 And I'm glad that I remembered yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah. I've only, well, apart from saying it last week, <laughs> I've only looked at it a couple of times, but I've, I've managed to get it in my head. So yeah, 07 470 Remember it, save it in your phone. That is the Real Talk hotline. Yeah, that's what we're calling here, because yeah. that's what it is. It is, yeah, Real Talk, and that's all we want. We just want your real messages. Um, <laughs> we will get onto the, the couple of WhatsApps that we had uh, in a little bit. Uh, there was no titty pics sent over, it's which is shy. good. We don't want you to send any <laughs> titty pics. You know, I'm a married man. Um, you know, and I don't want you to send any. But, you know, send whatever you want. Um, that's not an invitation to send any dick pics either. Because if you do, just be like, weary that I might put it on Twitter. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll blur the number out. <laughs> but I have, to, I have the face, like, the profile picture in it. Okay. Now, nah, whatever. Send your dick if you want. I don't care. Okay. You know, it doesn't mean I'm going to look at it. <laughs> nah, so I'm going to have to go for the settings on that phone because... So my personal phone, I don't have the notifications on for WhatsApp. Right. But whenever anyone sends a picture and that, it will still go into the gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the amount of times, because I have to be careful, because when I go to show a customer a picture of another job, there's all the pictures and the stupid videos yeah, like, yeah. from the lads in there. Oh, the amount of times it'd be a fucking uh, a shit in a toilet or you know one of them stupid bloody porn Classics. videos. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all right with the little crappy memes and that, but. Yeah, when it's just the horror. You don't want to show you could like you could there's like shit in the toilet. Well, I have to make sure that I'm not showing on the phone straight away, and then I go into the gallery and, then, and onto yeah, my camera roll yeah, first, yeah, yeah. so then I can scroll right. through. Because it was if it's you know all media, saying, yeah, I'm yeah. Fucked. yeah, and I ain't taking no titty pictures myself. One or two hairy, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, you can still carry on emailing as well. Real talking podcast. No, real talking pod at gmail.com. Mm. Uh, Twitter space uh, at Ash and JD. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. It's all right. it just popped in my head then because I'm on normal Twitter. I'm rarely ever on Twitter, to be fair. X can't uh, get you. Uh, but as I went on the other day, there was a load of notifications and it was like random people that followed me. And as I'm like, lucky, there was a load of like. Uh, 
so because it says next to the name like uh, pre-op trans or uh, like the, it's got the trans flag and this and that. And I thought, what's happened? Like, why am I getting a load mm. of trans following me and that? Why are you? I don't know <laughs> because that, that that's on the normal on my my personal, Your personal one. Yeah, and it's not. Like, it was just strange. There was like eight of them or something. I was just strange. flicked for the notification. Hayes just randomly got one of them. Yeah. Well, well eight of them. I, I, I'm guessing it was like eight. There was just a load of yeah. notifications that just flicked through. And uh, yeah, I just don't get it. I'm just, I don't know. Um, I mean, each to their own. If you want to like, uh, transition or be pre up transition, and I don't know. You all know the times better than we do. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully they're following for a good reason mm. and not for a negative one. I mean, they've, they've not sent any messages. Right. It's just they've followed me. I don't know. Um, it is strange. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, on to other news. Uh, so it's relating to stuff we spoke about plenty of times before, aliens. Mm. Good topic. Now, there is always the videos floating up. I see a lot of them on the old tic tac um but monday nights i'll I just I'll, I'll have it from time to time i'll struggle going to sleep and it wasn't i wasn't still on my phone at this point uh because normally by like half nine my phone's definitely off mm. on charge on the side to have that i'm not right. touching it but i just couldn't sleep and it was just before 11 o'clock was the last time i'd looked at the uh, the electric clock next to me on the side of that sort of time. The TV's still on, but the volume's always quiet on the TV anyway. It's more just as a light show in the background, yeah, yeah. just something to preoccupy the mind. Uh, so, yeah, I'm lying there anyway. And I've just started to hear this strange noise, and I, I thought it was the TV at first, but I've ended up muting the TV, and I could still hear it. So, at first, it was like a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, it, to some people, they'd be thinking, right, well, that's sort of like the rotation of the propellers on a helicopter. Mm. But I've got the air ambulance, uh, ambulance section at the hospital right by the back of me, and their helicopters are up and down all the time. So I know that it wasn't that sound. And I'll, so I'm looking out the window at this point now. I'm looking around, can't see anything. And then the noise started changing. So, you know, like with them car alarms, when it will do like 30 seconds of one yeah, noise, yeah. then it'll go on to another one. It was doing that. No, it wasn't a car alarm because it wasn't a siren sound. It was just different like echoes. Like a vibrating noise. Yeah, it was sense. just different noise. So, as I say, it started off like, warm, 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 warm. And then almost uh, like a... And I'm looking around, I couldn't see anything. Now, again, I know there's factories further down or across the other side of the, uh, the A46 or whatever it is. But I've not heard them noises from before. any of them, you know. And again, throughout the night time, when they are doing the night shifts, you'll see the lights on with the factories and like, the smoke coming out the chimneys or whatever. So you know if they're active or not. I couldn't see any of those. There was just the standard street lights that I'm seeing. And it was going on for about five minutes. And I was trying to record it. Uh, so the TV's on mute, so there's no sound from the, the TV. But try and record it, you couldn't hear it on the phone. Okay. Now, even though it was loud enough that I could hear it, it just wasn't picking up on the recording. Don't know why. And it because I was doing it as a video record, I'm literally I was holding my phone against the window, and it just wasn't picking anything up. And then the second time, I thought maybe because I was holding it next to me and I couldn't hear anything. Maybe because I'm holding it against the glass, that's stopping the noise from uh, yeah. picking anything up. So I pulled the phone back and it still wasn't picking up the noise. So, yeah, for I don't know, a good five minutes or so, just this random. And it weren't repeating the noises in a certain order. It was randomly doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just really I don't know what it was. It's pretty strange. But I think I'm being watched. Mm. I've listened to the podcast. Hopefully they do, yeah. I mean, they, you know, when we've told them to send a message that, in before. You had that soil in the other week as well, didn't you? Yeah, a good couple of weeks ago, uh, early in the morning. And it was literally just like a flash of light, just like a what you'd think is a shooting star flying past. But, you know, there's, it, 
it was too overcast. It wasn't a clear enough night sky right. for it to have been a shooting star. So it would have been underneath the cloud line, right. essentially. Uh, essentially. So, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think, am I in a semi-active area? Possibly. Yeah. So that's two instances you've had now. Mm. Be great if you could have caught the noise. Well, yeah, because... Like, as I say, because I was doing it twofold with the camera against the window and, mm. you know, the second time facing out the window in case there was something that would, like, you know, light show or anything you start seeing. But now, literally, I, I, I couldn't hear anything and I couldn't see anything because I even checked again in the morning when I got up uh, while I was having my morning poop um, before wiping my ass properly, you know, because uh, <laughs> you got to do it properly. But, yeah, I... Check the videos again, just in case there was anything that I'd missed. Uh, again, because after my morning walk, I keep my headphones on. And, uh, yeah, so even with the headphones on, I still couldn't hear anything. And so, oh. essentially, the, the videos were just the, the yeah. scene out of my bedroom window and nothing going on. You know, you could just about hear me breathing at one point as well because I was trying, you know, you're trying to hold yeah, your breath, be as quiet as possible, you know, you know moving the your face away from the, yeah, your yeah. phone or the mic or whatever just to to keep quiet but now it's just just not, just so strange it's just strange one yeah and it's like because normally i'm asleep by that point but you know it's just yeah just just weird well, I, just, I, I can't explain it other than it was a uap well that's it unexplained mystery there mate mm. getting ethics so, all over this yeah Come at me for my story. Yeah. Well, stories. I wonder if Coventry is a hot spot. Because you know, they do have, certain, it, they do have certain locations where it's more hot spot. So I know like in certain parts of America, you know, like see Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, like really those bits. Yeah. I know they're a bit active. So yeah, you're going to have to check that out. See if you're in a hot spot. I think I will have a look now, not, to be fair. I think Glasgow is a hot spot for the UK. Yeah, there's some... And there's a place in Wales. Wales. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah. The... Yeah, I, I think I'd imagine it'd be more open areas. Well, so not that I'm out in a rural part or anything, uh, but I'm on the outskirts because yeah. I'm close to the motorway and stuff. So, you know, I've got the fields and everything around by the back of me. There's farmlands and stuff pretty close. So I think when you, you buy those open spots, I suppose you can, you can hear it easier. You can... You've got more yeah. access to see because it's open. Whereas if you you're in the town centres, I mean, look for here, for example. Look, apart from your trees there, you've got quite a view yeah, yeah. that you'd be able to see them, really, wouldn't you? That's it. Um, you know, whenever they do fly over. Well, uh, yeah, if, if you're in, well, where I used to live by the Blues grounds, I'd have no chance there because nah, nah. it was literally and it's active just, all the time. And yeah, yeah, house is constant. Uh, you know, constant traffic outside, and that's so you wouldn't hear anything. Um, I do remember because <laughs> I did uh, look primary school and uh, a couple of years into secondary school. I was into astronomy a bit, like you know, I loved learning about the solar system and everything. And back when we did have nine planets in the solar system, um, yeah, because Pluto is classed as a is it, they just class it as a small planet now. I don't know what it's classed as, but it's not classed as a planet, yeah, because yeah. at one point it was like just a rocky, fucking, yeah, uh, floating piece of shit in the outskirts of the solar system weren't it but um yeah so because of that i think when i was like 10 or something mom got me a, a telescope for oh, okay. christmas but literally look fair enough it would have been a cheap telescope but you know i remember having it in the uh at the bedroom when the ring was green and you just couldn't see nothing yeah just, just too much light pollution yeah just yeah. cloud just that's it just a cloud just yeah. all merged together one big shit fucking yeah horrible uh, I don't know what I rack into that before. I, I, I don't remember throwing it. No, but you have to get another one, mate. Give it a go. But you'd have to go maybe somewhere really like quiet so there's no light pollution. Yeah, I, I, I know I could go up to the where a water dog uh, out towards Coombe Abbey and that log. But then I'd have to take the dog and then trying to set it up with the dog and he's, mm. he'd be trying to run around. He wouldn't, he wouldn't yeah, stand wouldn't. still long enough for me to be able to set it up. And <laughs> I wouldn't be able to just chill and not stand there and try and look out. Plus, you have to do it in the middle of the night, and I need sleep, man. That's it. Unless I do stop working uh, as many days as I do. Um, and you I can chase know. aliens, then, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I really like um, 
You know, like in America, they have those tornado chases. Yeah, that'd be I'd, fucking I'd great. It, job. That'd be but fucking it's awesome. Mental as well, yeah, though, isn't it? Because like, you know, you can't predict it properly, can you? Yeah, and you have to get really close, then you have to fuck right off. Yeah, because like, like you think these things travel rapid, rapid. And, you, and you can't tell if they're coming towards you. No, and they can just turn out yeah. with the blue as well, and so you think, oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm at a safe, safe distance. Yeah. Like, and it's going that way. Look at the footage we're getting. Oh, yeah. shit. It's coming towards yeah. us. Especially because some of them jump out of cars and that as well. Yeah. They need to get a better footage. And then like, it'll start coming towards you. you got to get back in. And then you just got to fucking tally. It, it's mental. But, you know, I, I swear, when you see them videos, it's it's it literally is yeah. there. Uh, like, just the, not rural areas, but... That um, like that valley, don't they? Um in America, because normally you see them in America, don't you? They have that yeah. that part of America where it's, is it, I think it's actually called Tornado Valley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I yeah. think like where it goes, yeah, it's something to do with the season. I know it's from, I want to say it's from April to September. It happens. There's the Tornado Valley, but yeah, it, it'd be yeah. great. To, uh, people that's probably lived through it and experienced probably like, nah, you don't want to live like see one. But it'd be when I think about it, be, uh, it would be great to see one. I don't know. But it's not when you see it on the films as well, though, it? it's all, oh, yeah, in the eye of the storm. Yeah. And you're standing there and it's just all, all quiet because it's all around you. I mean, you, you, you couldn't do that, could you? you? You'd just be dead. I see. Dead? Yeah. But, like, I mean... <laughs> took up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> good. Vortex, gone. Fucking Wizard of Oz shit. Yeah. Be up there with the aliens, mate. I don't know. Fucking finally say hello to them properly. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But it, it feels like we've had tornadoes like lately because it's still been windy as fuck. Anyway. Yeah, but it's not the same here, is it? I know it's not the same. Get those little gay storms. <laughs> <laughs> they are doing that. Like, the... Another storm, is it? Nah, it's yeah, just a bit of wind. wind and, bit of wind. Yeah, and rain. Oh, the other day, though. Uh, so, well, I don't know if I told you off, part it, but yeah, I had this customer cancel on me like, the night before. Fucking yeah, annoying. I remember you saying um, that. So the next morning, anyway, I was out walking the dog and uh, it was sound at first because it was dry, clear sky and that. And I thought, oh, I'll put my shorts on. Then I thought, nah, hang on, no. Because when I did that the other day, it was windy. So no, I'll put my tracksuit on then. So I'm walking along and then just out of the blue, the sky just went orange because I'm I'm not looking down because I'm sad or anything, but I'm always looking down because... I'll get onto it again in a minute, but the amount of people that don't pick up the dog shit, mm. fucking annoying. So I have to make sure I don't stand in it because I don't want to get shit on my shoes. So, yeah, I'm looking down. Notice that it's gone orange. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then, I, even at that point, I still couldn't even see no clouds and that. It's just orange sky. So, uh, yeah, carrying on walking. Then it just started hammering it down. Yeah. But, because I've got my headphones on, I, I haven't got my hood up, headphones on, then my head's getting cold as well. So I've had to fucking take the headphones off. But I was on the phone then as well. I'm like, man, I've got to call you back in a minute, man. Fucking because my head's cold. Fucking headphones off. Hood up. But the hood's already soaked oh, as well. Fucking not doing anything. And I was divering. And I was completely drenched. Like my trainers, socks and that. But my boxers were still pure dry. Don't know why. Because like, mm. the whole of my tracksuit was soaked. Like, I, I had to take it off and put it straight in the washing machine. I couldn't couldn't do nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. because it would have just been a puddle on the floor if yeah. I put it anywhere else. And yeah, I was like, because uh, they weren't grey, but you know, like a lighty blue sort of colour. Right, yeah. And so you can tell, well, you can see when they're wet because obviously the colour yeah. changes. At least if they're black, you don't you don't see if they're wet. Mm. But yeah, hundred percent dry. <laughs> I was just confused, just standing there looking like naked at this point because I've took my boxes off expecting that they're going to be soaking as well. And the dry, I'm like. Right. All right. I mean, I still put fresh ones on anyway, even though they've been on for like not even two hours because I'd got up, fresh clothes on, and then fucking went out. Cause fucking, yeah, but my head was proper it, cold. Though, anyway, man. there's some people that don't change the boxes for a few days. Oh, <laughs> so now, I've, I've done it like, uh, when I've worked away and then um, not that I've had an accident, but say I've not had enough like, for mm. to pack extras or whatever. So I've done like a second day out. I think that's the only time it's reasonable. Yeah, but if 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 you've got fresh ones at home or you just haven't washed because you're fucking lazy, there's no excuse for it. Just pop some fresh ones on. That's it. Like, it doesn't matter. 
God. Because I've even still got... They're not emergency ones, but they're just smaller ones that I should chuck away, but I'll keep just in case. Lord, I haven't done the wash and I need to put some fresh ones on. Yeah. So... It's like the fit me. It's just you know when they're a bit snug, yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's there's no room for you. You because you know we're getting older now, and we and so the balls are sagging down a little bit, and that. <laughs> yeah. And so with some of these boxer briefs, you need a, a little bit of room. So when you when you walk in, you can just uh, you know let them swing around a little bit, and it. Well, that's but, it. You know we can't all wear tighty whities. Nah, I don't, I don't know people wear them. Like proper briefs. <laughs> no, just like tight like. I'm, just when pants, I'm, any? When I, yeah, like, so, I, I think briefs are a better term. But yeah. No, just, just briefs, the, the boxers, any boxer briefs? I, I don't know. I always call briefs as in pants, like briefs, like. Because uh, pants are underpants. Do, to do me. America, do us, yeah, don't America call them briefs there and then boxers? Yeah, briefs are boxers, I think, for America. Well, I thought briefs were pants. No, because pants are trousers and jeans to Americans, aren't they? No, no, that's what I'm saying. So I thought, sorry, yeah. So I thought they're called briefs, pants, what we would call pants, but briefs, and then boxes, boxes, like we call boxes. So what would they call pants? That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sure they call them briefs. I don't know. Toddy Wardies, Speedos. Well, Speedos are the, the, the swimming, the swimming version, Yeah, yeah. Um, would you go to a swimming pool? Because I know there's some places in France, France, I should say, where... You only can go in the pool. Don't do your Italian hands. You're, no, no, you're talking about France. <laughs> no, there's there's some places in France, yeah, where you only can go in the pool if you're wearing speedos, not not swimming shorts. You have to wear speedos. Would you Would you do that? Well, no, because I'm no, not a speedo you, person. No one's a speedo person. Besides so creepy old men. Yeah, and, un- unless you you've got something to show, you shouldn't no, be wearing speedos. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. Every person I've seen wear speedos have got nothing to show, mate. No. No, it just it's always got a lot of creepy European men that just wear like Yeah. It's always European. And not wrong? to sound offensive. But, <laughs> 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 but there's right. a lot of these European countries that are really comfortable with themselves. France being one of them. Yeah. With the fucking hairy armpits. Yeah. No, I, I, I was just I was gonna yeah, yeah. No. Look, again, I said it on a podcast recently. I, I like to keep mine trimmed because it holds in the sweat and the smell and that. To be fair, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. I need to do them again. But, uh, yeah, I just, just, don't, just not a fan of it. No. Look, I, I remember giving myself the ick, even though it wasn't the ick. It was just, I remember looking at myself when we was like 15, 16 and had a vest on mm. and just seeing a little bit of the armpit hair sticking out and thinking, oh, that's horrible, that is. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it was like, it caught myself in the mirror then, or anything. Like, manscaping like that really wasn't a thing. But it was it was pretty much as we left school. That was when I started shaving my armpits then. Because I remember, like, before I, I had a beard trimmer, I'd get the scissors to trim the worst of it off. And then I'd use, like, my Gillette Mac Free Turbo or whatever it was back then. Ooh, I've never done my armpits like that. It was, I've, I've it was only that. a handful of times, to be fair. Because then... Yeah. Uh, cause, you know, what I did start the, getting a touch in that early What about, days, like, really, the chafe? No, I never From really had much. From grew back? No, it was, it was all right. I mean, it's still, it's still all right. Mm. I, but then again, I've, I've, I've always been the same with my beard as well. I've mm. never, you know, you're one of the typical men that have the issue of when they're growing, it gets to an itchy phase or whatever. Mine just grew and it was never itchy. Mm. So, I don't know. I think my hair's just different, man. My beard. Yeah, I'm getting close to having the cut. I know this isn't, you know, the uh, the normal podcasting talk here now, but uh, for the YouTube viewers, I mean, you might be able to see it all, but uh, it's getting yeah. getting close to the the yeah yeah the length that I want it on the back and the sides now. Because so for people that didn't know or haven't seen the YouTube videos, I used to just have the top knot shaved back and sides, and then basically since we've been doing this whole record this whole podcast it's been growing. episode 50 one year anniversary mm-hmm. uh yeah been growing it all out and yeah so the back and sides now is pretty much touching my shoulder yeah so yeah a few more weeks and i think you definitely should get it all leveled off there well i reckon as it stands at the moment and probably for another month or two if i was to cut it 
all for the same sort of length, mm. it would be prime uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah, or um, I had the hangover. Uh, no, fuck off. No, Please I'm be not... on about Bradley Cooper, yeah. and not Alan. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm on about. Yeah. The, 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 off the length of the hair. Yeah, I think I think it's a bit longer than how uh, Bradley Cooper had it, and then look because when it's all puffed out and that. Do you remember Kurt Russell back in the day when he was fucking? Uh, I'm just trying to remember that. Nothing's going to. Uh, Big Trouble, a Little Chinatown. Nah, uh, I never watched fucking, it. Um, Star Lord's dad. Yeah, I know who he is, but I've so never... So even his hair in that. So when it shows him younger and that, like, fucking... Right, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. A, I got out of the shower the other day, and then after it's all washed and, or, you know, properly puffed out, towel dried and everything, it was just all fucking waving. I thought, yeah, young Kurt Russell vibes. That's it. Well, uh, yeah. Was I going to leave it before you could hear? I don't know. Because um, I was be thinking like... about, in a couple of weeks, before I go away, but I don't know. I'll see. Because I don't know whether I still want to have it longer before I cut it. Because the, the rest of it in general, the top hair is long. Yeah. I mean, no, I, I think it should be quite soon, actually. I, I, I think, yeah. Because how are you going to wear it still down like that? Uh, yeah, so in general it will be. And then so when I'm working, just tie it all back yeah. still there. Now, I think next few weeks you should probably get it done. Because that way you can see that way if it's a bit short, if you look, you want to keep it that level then without going short. Oh, no, because once I do cut the top, I'm still going to carry on grabbing yeah, yeah, all yeah. of it. Oh, so you're still going to carry all of it to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So essentially, I want all of it the same length. As it is now. Longer than what the top is. Yeah. Right, right. Because I, like, like what I was doing before when I was getting the missus to do the fucking the Viking hairstyles and all yeah, that, yeah, I just want to be able to do it in all of the hair. Right. And not these shitty fucking cane rub effect ones, you know, when it's the thick fucking Swiss braid and all that, like. But you see. Yeah, I remember where you. You see you at... some of these ones, the thin ones and fucking. Yeah. Playing about that, like, and whitening it. So. <laughs> nah. No. But yeah, just. Yeah, like the Viking fucking, braids, and it? Yeah, big, thick ones, like, the say, uh, proper fucking French braids and that. That's uh, it. Man. Yeah. yeah. But when, well, I do think you should get good soon, though. I, 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 I definitely need. Like... Like, if I don't cut the, the top completely, I definitely need to have it neat enough to be get rid of the dead ends and stuff. Um, so you wouldn't cut the the top to match the sides. I don't know. I, oh, I, would. I need to. I need to have a proper sit down. I think because you know yourself, mate. When it comes to the hair, it's a commitment. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't have your regular bar bag, you don't go for That's a week it. or two. That's the only way to you know? be. To be honest. So I need to fuck you. I need to have a proper assessment. But when when it's all at the length that I'm at you, then I will have. The bottom lock like, inch, lock like, shaved yeah. or faded or whatever, because I, I just I still don't like no, the way it feels like, around here. You should have a skin fade there. You should just, you know, where your side ball is that what it was? Yeah, the side yeah. yeah. I would literally just trim that down. I, would, I wouldn't skin fade it because it looked it looked too contrast of a difference because you got a beard. But you know, when it's just that little bit, let's say just like that little inch. No, I don't like that. And I, it's obviously your hair, but. I, know, I get what you're in. It just you just want that little bit there, and it goes like a like a taper, isn't it? Yeah, that follows your hair. So I suppose when when I do finally get it cut and that, it would get neater anyway. But it's just the way it's all just on the ear and that. I just don't like mm. just the way it feels. It's not that I think it looks shit or anything. It's just I don't know. But I suppose I'm still getting used to it because the amount of times I roll roll over in bed as well, and like it's wrapped around my neck. Yeah, like, eh, eh, and, like, having to right. it out. but I don't like to have it tied up like loosely in the yeah, bottle yeah, while I'm in bed. Just lock, lock it down. I personally think you should have the top now cut off to the sides in a few weeks. That's what I think because I think it look, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. As uh, I've, I've got to, I've got to have a proper seat and, and have like, a little, yeah, 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 for an hour or so and just. Contemplate how it's going yeah. to be, because and then I think you should trim the beard down. I know you don't want to, but I think you should trim that down when you get your hair cut. No, I'll, again, I'll because every now and again I'll do give it a little bit of maintenance. Look, but fade the beard out. I won't. I won't do as much no, as what you've got in your heads. No, no, I don't mean. I just mean like it does need a good shaping again because yeah. I haven't done it properly for a while. But yeah, do you know what? Does, yeah, 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 yeah. It does need a good bit of maintenance. Um, because essentially, how I had it for the wedding. That's what, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. it was still long enough, but 
it was just all nice and neat. It was all proper and shaved, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think when you get the haircut, get that done, you feel like a new man. And yeah. also, you've got to go to the same barber. You can't cheat on him. You can't. Nah, because I'll be going back to where I was before. Uh, Mr. Anderson's in Nuneaton. Shout out to mate. Uh, that was sound, to be fair, because yeah. look, not like your one where you go in and you hope that it's all going to be clear or you man's never free is. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing it's still the same. Obviously, it's been over a year since I've been, but you had to go on the website, book an appointment. And so if you book 10 o'clock, that's your appointment. It's yeah, only yeah. you for that half an hour slot or whatever. And like, there was the options, haircut, beard, trim, uh, wash, shave and whatever. Yeah. So they know how much time it's going to take roughly. Um. So yeah, I'll, I'll stick with them to be fair. Uh. Hopefully the prices are still well. To be fair, the prices were good anyway. It was like sixteen pound, but I'd always just give the twenty yeah, and yeah, yeah. just keep that. Um, and that was look with a full haircut and a beard trim and that. So yeah, it's probably gone up since then though. But for probably beard, not by much. I don't know in the space of twelve months. Yeah, well, it was always an easy one for them though because the top they never had to touch the, yeah. the top. It would just be tied up nice and tight, shave around the back and sides, and then, and then trim the beard. Up. Like ten minutes done. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit longer now, isn't it? Like yeah. you just couldn't all that hair. But it was sound in there because again, I could trust all three of them. There was the young <sighs> lad; he was sound. I always find it look well, strange and funny when you got a bald barber. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, look, but he was sound because it's his shop. I'm guessing his name is Mister Anderson. Um, yeah, he was sound because he was the first one that had uh, cut the hair, and then the last couple of times it was the woman at work there. And again, because mm. it was easy, like it's, it's, say, it's just shaving the back and sides, it was fine. So I didn't have to worry about it getting fucked up. Yeah, because there was the line. Really that it weak, went, mate. Oh, mate, I, ha- I hated them days. I remember when a bad hair call would ruin your week? Yeah. Fucking hell. God. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've had a few. Like, not from the barber now, but yeah. to be fair, the barber now is like spot on. But like, you, oh. I, think, I think the worst ones have been Kiefer's. Oh. The amount of times he's come back with a horrible trip, I look because like, he's got that lap, cowlick as yeah. well. He's lap always side, <laughs> like blend, not blend. Oh, <laughs> I remember he got a bad haircut once. He's paid the man, and then gone to another barber yeah, to try yeah, and sort yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And it's like the damage is done. Like, yeah. and all you can do is just go shorter and higher yeah, up. And that's you just got to try to hide someone else's mistake. Yeah, it? God, oh. so I don't miss them days, man. Nah, nah. That's why I got to stick with the for me. You, you just stick to your man. Mm. It, it don't matter if I'm waiting an hour. I'd rather wait the hour than go in 10 minutes and like regret it. Yeah. 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 I wonder how Dave's getting on these days. Oh. Old window Dave. He's still going. He's like, yeah. I haven't been around there for years. No, man, I don't blame him. Yeah. Well, now well, I've, I've drove tra- like, yeah. along the main road and that part. No. Yeah. Uh, window Dave. Yeah. He used to love it, didn't he? He used to love a chat. Proper Stop. old school yeah. old barber. Just, just, Chatting, just Chat. stop, go outside. How you doing, yeah, mate? Uh... To, I remember one time, he cut like the side of my hair, <laughs> like with the clippers, done one side, went into the bookies next door to put a bell on, <laughs> and then come back, like blend the one side in. He was like, You don't know? I was like, You ain't done this side. <laughs> like, I completely forgot the one side. Even though he's looking at you in the mirror as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And he's just, he's just not registering in his head, any. God. Good gazer, though, to be fair. It was a nice man. Because I look, think... it's, it's one of them, when you move barbers, it's like, you can't go to that current barber. I'm leaving because your haircuts have been shit. Do you know what I mean? I, think, like... I think these days, I would happily say that. No, because you just go to another barber, and he, but like, it, it, it was like, when before, when, old, when, old, when, old, when one of the other lads left, like, I just wish he would have said, like, if you weren't happy, I would, you know, but like, you, you can't tell someone who's been doing a job for so long that... Well, before I started going to Mr. Anderson's, there's one, like, literally a couple of minutes away from me, and it's called the Bearded Barbershop. Mm. So, because I'd looked online, like, on Google Maps, essentially, found it, all good reviews and everything. So I'm thinking, yes. sound, easy haircut, as I said, fucking just back and sides, neating a beard up. And uh, I've gone in, I don't know if they were Turkish, because uh, there was a mixed couple anyway, but there was the one who had the long jet black hair and that as well, right. thinking he's like fucking, you know, Prime Patrick Swayze or something, but it's just men in there. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't know who he's trying to impress. And uh, fucking, I've sat down and then 
Look, I saw an empty seat, but there was already three people sitting in the chairs and the three barbers. So I sat down and this geezer come out of nowhere. So obviously round from the back that I didn't see. He's like, yeah, come sit down then. Uh, and he starts trying to talk. I could barely understand him. And then, look, so he's, he's done the back and the sides. He went slightly too high, so I had to start a fresh line uh-huh. anyway then, um, which that wasn't too bad for, for the top knot style anyway. It didn't matter if you went a little bit higher on that. Um, but it was the beard. I was like, just kneeing it up, just take yeah. off the dead ends, just, you know, the long ones, just shape it up and that. I he fucking, I, I, I think we was going out or something. Yeah, I remember, but I it, can't remember what he was for, it but was I remember like telling me. long yeah. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Like, he just cut over half it off, and, then and then I, I was just switched. I was like, what are you fucking doing? Like, after the first cut, like, what are you fucking doing? I'm cutting your beard. I'm like, no, I told you to shape it up. Yeah, yeah. And like, uh, he had to finish it off and fucking get it all fucking even and that there. And like, he, he tried to charge me something stupid. I was like, nah, no, you're having a ten out and that's it. And it was only because he'd cut the hair. Like, so, I don't know, say it was fucking 25 quid he wanted to charge me because he's done hair and fucking beard. I was like, nah, man, mm. fucking, that's it. And I, like, I just handed him a £10 note and walked out. I like, they're all there shouting stuff at me. I was like, you can fuck off. And uh, I was parked around the back because it was like an alleyway. That you, yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't even, I don't even think it was like custom parking, but because yeah, it's, it's on the main road, there was nowhere for me to park. And I'm thinking, if these come out, I'm trapped in here. I'm going to have to run them over or something. But uh, yeah, none of them followed me. But fuck, I was fuming, man. There's nothing, as I said, a bad haircut. Woo, can ruin that your was week, the beard, though. though. Yeah, yeah but a like bad a... beard trim, they can ruin your week. Yeah. And it's always the mad when you go, just a little bit. When I think a little bit, like if I'm a barber and someone goes to me, a little bit, yeah. I'd get my hands, go right to the end and go, that enough? Was that too much? Yeah, Do you so know what I mean? Like, them the ones that I loved. So when I did used to have the shorter hair and they'd put it up, and you say just a little bit off, they'd put it up. Yeah. And then it'd be like to be offering like two, three mil. Yeah. Like, that enough. And I just a touch more, and then do the yeah. same again. And then once I've got that first beat, they're like, That's the sound, I've, I've got it now. Yeah. Then. And they, they know, and they just do, 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 do. Like Edward says, I hand that shit. But nah, it's, oh, God, it's always it's, the worst when you say just a little bit, and then you're left with a little bit on yeah, top. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's depressing, man. So see that hairline crawling back. I'm glad I don't have to put up with those things anymore. I mean, I only started growing my hair because. It was just a be- busy period of work. Didn't have enough time to go to the barbers and that. And uh, I remember the, the job that I was on when the first time. It was just an elastic band because I'm working. Uh, I was like connecting up sockets or whatever. And uh, the hair just kept falling in my face. Mm. And I just got an elastic band. And I said to Chris, I was like, mate, don't take the piece now, but I've got to tie my hair up. And then I'd done it, and it was just so much easier. I was like, why haven't I been doing this for a long time? Yeah. And then... Uh, the same comments from my dad when I started growing my beard and that look, you need a haircut, you need a shave, fucking whatever. So it just egged me on to fucking yeah, carry on growing on. more of that thing. And uh, I think because dad's, well, most of uh, the family on my dad's side, like, bald from a young age and stuff, fucking just wind him up even more. Mm. And uh, yeah, my brother's wedding over in Poland, because uh, obviously, look, like, my hair's all fucking long and that look, he's like, your hair looks really nice today, son, because... I'd had my shower and that, fucking put my oars in, and it's just all curly as fuck. And it did look nice, but yeah, I love it though. Well, I mean, I should have put some oil in it before fucking doing the podcast, to be fair, but you know, I mean, not enough people watch on YouTube anyway, which I'm a bit disappointed about. But please do keep listening and subscribing yeah. and sharing and sending your emails and everything. We do appreciate it. I'm quite it. happy that no one watches <laughs> on, the, on YouTube and the cameras, to be honest. <laughs> You'd, you'd think after 12 months, you'd be more used to it by now. Yeah. Right? Sorry, do you want to know what? Oh, no, no, no. no. Gotta wash them calories, kid. That's it. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, you know, it's going it's going well. You know, it's, uh, yeah, he's uh, sharing it enough. I don't see the shares. I don't know how many shares are going, but obviously we're getting a, a good number of downloads on that. So mm-hmm. yeah, keep it going. We uh, we want to want to get those numbers up for the next year and uh, start getting more followers and all that. Um. Yeah, it's always good when I, I see that we've got a new follower, subscribe and whatever. Um, it's yeah, validation, but, isn't it? It is, It's yeah. like the emails. It's like yeah. makes it worthwhile. You know, you, you know you're doing something well when, you know, people are taking the time to get in contact, ask questions and just listen. So, yeah, you know, it has been, fifth, so this is the 50th episode. But it's, it's the 52nd that we've recorded. Yeah. But 
those two corrupted yeah. files and that couldn't get them back. Well, at least about the year when we did star. Yeah, because it literally was like the beginning of March, and then because the back end of March we went away. Yeah, was yeah. That, like, and that was the fourth episode. I believe wasn't it, it was episode four. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes, so not only is this the 50th, it is like our anniversary one as well. Yeah. So, and it is strange to think that before I even started doing this podcast, I've never even listened to a podcast before this. Mm. And now it's all I do is listen to podcasts. So, yeah. Uh, apart from when I'm listening to, uh, well, Smooth Country or... Obviously, yeah. Uh, a country music playlist and that, because I just find... Country music's more relatable. Oh, because it's just all about women <laughs> drinking. It it's is. just simple things. Yeah, it's there's the... a few fucking like, religious ones and that as well, but you don't yeah, mind because yeah, yeah. it's like, funny in a sense. But yeah, you can just have it on. It's and it's drinking just, and women, yeah, yeah. Sweet. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's mainly them that are listening to outside of podcasts. Uh, but you can, you, you can just crack on doing what you're doing and the podcasts are on. Obviously, I listen to a lot of Mark Goldbridge, you know, it's standing at as well. Mm, Getting um, my mark. I've actually I've, I've got the last bit to listen to uh, later on, but um, he's done an interview with Lawrence. Do you remember from the kickoff, Drew Geordie? I suppose you, uh, yeah, you wouldn't have watched any of it, would you? Nah. So you know who Drew Geordie is, though, don't that you? That big, yeah, the, the big the Newcastle yeah. fan, YouTuber. So uh, I'd say similar slash the same as, but uh, they did it first. So how Mark Goldbridge has that football. Um, where he watches other games other than United. Uh, they were doing it beforehand anyway, called the kickoff, uh, and then they had the podcast and stuff. But then uh, things took a, a left turn when, not maliciously, but uh, Drew Geordie made a comment uh, was jokingly. Comment? Uh, it was um, a negative comment towards Muslim society. Right. And uh, it was all laughed off at the point. Uh, like initially, and then over a couple of weeks, we've Twitter clipping it up and everything. Yeah. Uh, things just went downhill from there. Um, so the kickoff crew just went their own ways and that log. So it's it's been an interesting listen so far, log. You know, there's there's no bad side from Lawrence or anything. It's just you know giving his side of the story, how he felt and everything. Um, and to be fair, he, he's he always quite liked him anyway. Apart from being a Liverpool fan, um, he he's a funny geezer. Mm. Uh, so I. I Say if you do have time over the weekend, that'd be one to have a listen to. Right. I know you wouldn't get a lot of the stuff anyway because you didn't watch the kickoff, but yeah, just just because you get a feel of some of the background stuff and that as well. Okay. Um, and then because Lawrence is married to a Muslim woman, a couple of kids that they're raising up the same way as well. That was why there was more negative yeah, uh, yeah. comments towards him. Cause, oh, you know, it's like a rare, rare. But yeah, it's it's been a, a good little listen to be fair. Um. So I think we've got more of a chance of getting onto Mark's personal channel, which he's done this podcast right. on, than uh, me getting on United you know, Stand. Which, to be fair, Mark, I know you'd listen because even on this fucking do you think he's podcast, listening? Yeah, because the amount of real talk that he keeps fucking saying, he's literally saying, you know, this is real talk. This is real talk. But, so no, he's listening to us. Why would he do that? Just to wind up, do He is winding me up. Mark, I know you're listening. No, honestly, man. just get him on. Honestly, let's get this done. <laughs> I'll, I'll drive him up there. But Wait, honestly, he's up the road. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's not far from here. Um, but now, nah, look again, look for him. He's fucking smashed out of the park. You know, ten years ago, he had like ten fucking people listening to him on a Sunday just chatting about United. Now he's got, I think, like one point eight four million. Yeah, he's doing he's doing all right for himself, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He's making a living from it, which is, I suppose, the dream to make a living out of something which you love doing. Mm-hmm. Oh. And, uh, and I would imagine quite a good living as well, mate. Well, yeah, he's got a lot of staff. Um, yeah. But there's just the one uh, that he has on the United stand, Faz, and he just chats so much Do shit. you think you should replace Faz, mate? Is that what you're saying? I, I could easily replace him, yeah. Because yeah. he, he just... He's he's like the Gabby Bangla or <laughs> the United stand. <laughs> just say so for the sake of it. I think he does. Uh, like, the amount of times he'll slag players off and that, and then like, he's slagged uh, Bactomini off loads of times over the last... Fucking lot like, this season essentially, um, and then the other week he's like, you know what? I, I actually do love Scott McTominay. I'm like, oh, fuck off, man. Yeah. Lord. but there's just too many stupid comments, mm. and then because uh, they've got Beth on there as well, and you can tell that he fancies that. Lot, like, and he'll do stupid comments. Who's Faz? To, yeah, Faz oh. fancies Beth, and they say it's obvious, and he'll do the stupid comments. And look, uh, one of them the other day. Oh yeah, but. Uh, 
every, every stream, you're always getting at least one person ask you out because they'll have the live chats and there's one person that you know, he's calling himself Hung Bin Son and like, you know, Beth, when we're going out for a drink or whatever. Mm. And like, so it's, it's, it was like he was showing his jealousy that he, yeah. she's getting asked out and she's not just saying, I don't want, I'm not looking for a relationship or whatever. I don't want any involvement in this, you know? And yeah, he's just fucking just simping over her, basically. It's just fucking annoying. Mm. God. But yeah, I just, I just don't rate him. I do, I do feel it's time now for you to go on to his podcast. You know, he's wound you up. He's listening. I, I, I swear, know. I reckon he does, though. I, I don't, I'm not too sure, because I think... He... Right, if you do listen to this interview with Lawrence, though, just listen, because the amount of times, and he's like, yeah, you know, but we're giving the real talk here. And it, it's just... <laughs> but didn't everybody just say that before? No, no. I swear, it's like he's listened to us, and he's like, yeah, I know he's a fan. Even if he's only listened once, he's like, I know he's a fan, and fucking, I'm going to keep mm. dropping it in now. Because he, he, he'll do it on the live stream, about man. the game I'm... and all that, man. Right, yeah, he does, but, man. But it is strange though to think a year ago when you st- when you well, it's over a year ago when you asked to start this, where we'd be. Obviously, we're not we're not making a living from it, but no. we can see the numbers, not the streams, but the downloads. Yeah, and so we just want to, you know, but I just want to take this time just to thank everyone for listening, downloading, email, just just anything to do with the podcast. Obviously, as I just said. It's little stuff like the emails that make it worthwhile to, to make it not relevant, but to to make it feel worthwhile. Yes, and it's good to know that people are taking the time, as I said, to watch, you know, subscribe if you haven't, you know, all that. Yeah. But no, it is nice that people are taking the time out to just listen to us, so we really do appreciate that. Right? Yeah. Are we uh, going on to some emails or what we do? Well, there is one more thing. That I do want to talk about right. because it is still weather related, even though <laughs> we've not spoke about the weather for probably about right. three hours now at yeah. this point. Um, but I touched on it last week because uh, we we literally just rattled on about the emails and stuff last week, didn't we? But uh, I've noticed it again this week with the rain that we have had and the rain more so the couple of weeks before. Um, so science a little bit, you know what it is when the you know, as you know the rules. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when it rains, the worms come out of the soil and that, don't know. Yeah. Now, I've never seen so many worms in my life. That, honest to God, I know it's just a random thing to come out with. Oh, I have got one more thing I want to go on about in a minute, but still, yeah, worms. Now, there's this one bit that I walk the dog, and so as I say, like, in the morning it's dark and that, so I'll have a torch on in some areas and that, so... I'm making sure I'm not standing in shit. But there's this one bit, there's no grass near us, like, you know, 20 odd metres away for the closest bit of grass. And there's just worms. It's like you're walking through a minefield of not to, because I don't want to stand on the worms. Mm. don't want to, you know, kill an innocent life if I don't have to. Um, but it was just, honestly, it was just a battlefield, like a minefield of just worm after worm after worm. And I don't get it. I don't get why there's so many worms all of a sudden. Now, fair enough, yeah, there's been a lot of rain, but not by the grass. Like, why are they trying to venture? Or well, even in the middle of the road and that, why are they trying to cross the road? Mm. Maybe they, they've outgrew where they was. And as a Conley or whatever they would call themselves, uh, move into a new home. I don't know, man. It was just, honestly, like, if I see it again in the next couple of days, I'll take a picture. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, there's like hundreds and hundreds of them. Just walking around. Yeah, I've never but seen anything. Not like the worms yeah, walking yeah. around. I'm walking around. They haven't evolved to have legs and that now. <laughs> but I just don't get it. There's just so many of them, and oh, they're just weird looking as well. And yeah. they're really worms. Yeah, when I think of worms, I think that old PlayStation game worms. Earthworm Jim. No, nah, no, Earthworm Jim. You know, I think oh, man, it was, it was called. A bad game, but yeah, I worms. Think it was just called it worms, was worms, wasn't it? Yeah, not worms, yeah. And you just and like that. shoot somewhere, yeah. and, like you randomly. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That I mean, was a good game. That was a fair. fucking awesome game. Yeah. That, and that, that was Rages before FIFA Rages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what some, like, if we did a uh, Twitch stream or something, we'd have to do that because oh. it would just be fucking, like, right, well, you're fucking, oh, how did you miss fucking? Oh, you, you had to play that a lot to get good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, when they started introducing win factors and stuff as well, like, fucking, oh, you had to, yeah, yeah, you had to, like, just I mean, anchor like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh, right, the wind's blowing this way that much. So this angle, that much power, 
a lot of math involved, Rosie, really. Physics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was mental. It was a funny game. Oh, that's why I'm Jim was a good game, though. I right? remember that on old yeah. Sega Mega Drive, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. Know. Oh. Some great games, weren't there? There was. I've, I've, I've still been keeping up with the gaming. Um, then I've had the new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth dropped off yesterday as well. Oh, okay. Um, but before I play that, I'm going to play the first one again. Right. Uh, just so, because I didn't, I played it on the PS4 and I've got the PS5 now, so I'm going to play it on the PS5 because I, f- I think it does anyway. You know, when it carries the levels on and yes, whatever, yes, and yes. achievements, I think it does that. But it was, yeah, I've been carrying on with that other game, uh, Legend of Heroes, that saga and that. Uh, it's mad because if if the missus didn't win Christmas, then I wouldn't have been gaming at all. <laughs> but uh, I've had to any, you know, she she bought the PS4, so I've had to put the time in, man. Yeah. And it's strange because, look, I look forward to playing a couple hours on an old time when I finally do have like, the time after walking the dog and that, but it's hard because then you're getting like, engrossed in it, especially with this because it's each game, the story continues on as well. And even after I do finish this one, there's uh, I've got the next one, and there's another two coming out. I think they're already out in Japan, but they've got to do the English yeah, versions yeah. and that. So I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, I know where this part of the story should end. How is there another three games? But like, where's it going? I just I don't know. But yeah, it's it's good, and yeah, you're getting gross, and you're like, oh god, it's half eight. I should yeah, be going off to yeah. bed now. And that's a good thing about the, the PS5 because the same as the Nintendo Switch, you can like, go to your home screen and turn it off. Instead of like, old school, you have to find a save point and then do that, save yeah, it, yeah. and then turn it off. You know, you can just whack it into rest mode so it don't matter. So it's convenient like that. But I'm fucked if there's a fucking power cut or something. Because <laughs> then, like, to be fair, I do have that old school mentality. Yeah, I'll save same. it as often yeah, as I yeah, can yeah. just in case that happens. But yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's... I don't know. Am I am I turning back into a gamer? Was I ever really a gamer? Oh shit! Pokemon Day the other day. Yeah, yeah, February twenty seventh. So did you watch the videos? Yeah, I did. And have you got any thoughts, any views on it? Uh, not really. I thought it would have been a black and white remake, but they're doing obviously Legends for yeah, so the Kalos region. It is the the Pokemon Crystal. To the gold and silver, where we didn't have a Z, we had the X and the Y, and now we're getting the Z. But they're doing it as the Legends style game as well, aren't they? But it's in the Kalos region, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, because it's from the thing, uh, from the trailer, it looks like Luna Masilla. It's called yeah. a Pokemon from Gen A in the, in the trailer. Yeah. But uh, so, because you had the story of X and Y. Yes. And then there was the uh, background story of your man that uh, the yes, old thousand, yes. thousand year war. Or the That's war the one. Thousand years war so is that what the sign is going to be about? Oh, yeah. That should be good then. Uh, Zargrave, I think the Pokemon yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, let's say, it's the, the Z. When we had the X and the Y, everyone was hoping for a Z, never came. Oh, so okay. it's that story. Uh, but yeah, in the legend style, right? Because I still haven't played that game yet, mate. So I don't even yeah. when you get round to it, you'll understand the hype. And I'm glad that they're doing it that way because, as good as the the other games have been, it was a a. So, let's go Eevee and Pikachu. Shit, I hated them games. They were nice, but uh, not no. up to the the standards that we have yeah. been original OG Gen ones. So it's just because it was too childish still. So when they've done well, the other ones, you, you Scarlet Violet as well, doing it the same style of play as that, even though Scarlet and Violet is open world, it just still didn't have the same feel as yeah. Legends are. You always feel there could be more. Yeah. And that's why I feel like they need to move from Nintendo, which never will. But I feel like once they get, you know, like a PS5 memory or graphics, we. I think could open up like another what's that game that's come out? Pack World. Uh, Power World. Power World. Sorry, yeah. yeah, which is an utter rip off, but it's doing so well. I'll, I'll... Have you seen how well it's doing in the charts? It's doing so well. So you just think that Pokemon would take that enthusiasm and think, you know what? 
if we move and put it onto like all consoles and yeah. just just make that game that everyone wants. It's not a hard game that everyone wants. It's just that making it competitive with better graphics and you know. Well, doing it as the legend style, that's where they can take it and mm. go multi platform. Because it isn't hard to do that. You know, you've got your FIFA on all platforms. Yeah. Um, you know, your Final Fantasies across all of them and all that as well now. So it's not a hard one to do, but I think it's just because Nintendo have those exclusive rights. Yeah. The I can't see it happening in any point in the near future. But yeah, it would be would be worth it. You know, even just being able to play it on your mobile would be a, a, a better shout as well. Because you're always having your mobile, aren't you? You're not mm. always gonna have the switch or I, switch two when that comes out. Yeah. Um I, I would like an open world one on a on a PlayStation with the you know, and just make it more competitive and just know that you know when you've grew up with it and when there's a new game, you always think, Fuck me, you know, it's gonna be great and it isn't. I remember being so disappointed with Sun and Moon. And I was just like, I thought this was going to be so much better, but it was just too linear. Yeah. I just feel like... That's that's why Scarlet and Violet is definitely better than Sun and Moon. Because even though you should go to the gyms in a set order mm. because of levels and whatever, you know, you don't have to because you have got yeah. that open world that you can still go around and that. But yeah, Legends was just a game changer for Pokemon anyway. Yeah. So... It's good to see that they're doing it that way. Um, but that wasn't the main thing that I was excited about on the Pokemon news. What was it? The trading card game. Oh, and the phone. Yeah, yeah that's I, a good I idea. Think yeah. that's, I can't believe they haven't done it No, before. no, no. As soon as I've seen it, I was like, shit, it's, it's so obvious. It's yeah. been staring them in the face for years because, you know, you've been able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that on the phones for a long time. So I just couldn't believe it. I was like, shit, now, that is what I will definitely get. You know, I did the Pokemon sleep for a little while. You know, it was it was nice, like you know, feeding the Snorlax and whatever. But it sounds fucking wrong, that does, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but it it was just it was just too much. I know it's not a fucking big thing, but it, it was a lot of effort to try and remember to do it during the day because yeah, you, you yeah. had to do stuff during the day. It wasn't just switching on as you're going to sleep because you'd miss out on stuff during the day then as well. And you don't have time. Or unless yeah. it's a weekend or the day that you're not doing anything, you just haven't got it. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I lasted like a month doing that. But at least with the trading card game, because I think it says you get two free packs a day, and then I'm guessing it's going to be similar to like, um, uh, I'm trying to think. There's, there was a football cards one and all that uh, that you could buy packs and that online as well. Anyway, so I'm guessing it's going to be like that. You can buy different packs. Yeah. Um, but just just starting a little digital collection, it's going to be. Yeah, quite nice, I think. Um, so you have to learn how to use the card game, like how to actually play the game on a, properly. Because as good as I, the cards I, I, I is, I barely knew how to play yeah, it as a yeah, kid, yeah. man. Fuck you. I don't think I ever drove really. I mean, I suppose I would have done, but yeah, it's just like you it know. was just nice to get the cards. Like, ah, yeah. shit, I'm not just that one, eh? Fucking so, yeah. Uh, didn't give any race dates for them, no. Well, no. Uh, just so said... ZA is coming out next year, yeah. so in 2024. Um, but yeah, it just says. I think late 2024 for the card yeah. game. So it doesn't look like really going to get anything, excuse me, uh, as a new game for Pokemon this year. And I'm quite happy about that because they do bash them out and I feel like if they just take the time. Yeah, some of yeah. them have been rushed. Yeah. So I feel like if they take the time with this one, it could be the one. Because they, they haven't released no gameplay with the trailer. It was just Pikachu running around Luminous City and he yeah. flipped. So we'll see what the what the... The style of the game is like, and hopefully it's good. Well, it's being called Legends, it's, it's gotta it's, be, it's, gotta be like that. All yeah. Um. So yeah, exciting on that sort of things. Yeah. Um. But a quick rant before we do get onto the old correspondence. Then it has been a little while since I've had a proper rant. Mm-hmm. Um. But yesterday, so I'm out walking the dog, and as always, headphones on, so I'm not listening, or you know, it's it's. The headphones on means don't talk to me. I'm in my zone. Yeah. You know, listen to whatever I'm listening. I ain't walking the dog. I'm, let me be me. I don't want to speak to anyone. The amount of people that still try and speak to me. I had an old dear the other week. Fucking, she's on a mobility scooter in the fucking road. And 
it was only because the dog stopped and gone towards her because she's shouting at me. I was like, you're right, love. She's like, oh, they ain't the greats. They're better than people. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why I've got a dog and I have headphones on. <laughs> um, I didn't say that. I was polite. You know, but that's what I wanted to yeah, say. Yeah. Because it's like, you can see I've got the headphones on. I ask people a lot as well. Can you see I've got headphones on? Because obviously I've got yeah. big hair. And I'm thinking, is it not obvious fucking around it all? <sighs> but anyway, I'm walking the dog yesterday. And uh, I was, this chap's coming past me. And it was only because in the corner of my eye, I saw his mouth moving. I was like, oh, sorry, but did you say something then? He was like, oh, yeah, uh, just a well-walked dog, isn't it, mate? I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, got to keep him walked. Yeah. Like he, you know, he needs it, the fucking breed and that. And um, so a quick chat, and he was like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of people uh, have been saying fucking uh, about all the dog shit around. Um, and I've had a few people say to me, I bet it's you. And I went, nah, mate, I've always got the dog bags. So I've literally yeah. pulled out the roll of the poop bags out of my pocket, showed it was like, not me, mate, always pick it up. So like, no, no, I've, I've told him I don't think it's you because, you know, I always see you walking the dog and that dog and I expect you to be doing the right thing. And I, like, it took me, because he's got into his car then, and it took me like 20 seconds to think what he's just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That people are talking about me, seeing what? me walking my dog, thinking that I'm one of these lazy cunts that doesn't pick up the dog shit. And I, I swear, I was rattled then. Like, yeah, I'm, he clicked that. Oh, just like, God, I, I'm walking the rest of the way back home and I, I was fuming, man. And I'm thinking, I wish I would have just says. Tell them people to fuck off or something like And, oh, God. I'll Those kind back. of things, though, you never think about in the moment, though, any? Like, it's it just because it wasn't oh, registering. Because yeah. like, I still haven't pressed pause on the podcast that I was listening to. So that was still half playing in my ear. And, like, uh, it's only because I've done it before where, like, someone says something. I was like, no, it's all right. I've got bags. That It was just that natural reaction. Now nah, I've always got the bags, mate. I always pick it up. And, look, like, yeah, fucking, it was just, I, I just was so pissed off. Not at him, not he's he's obviously just fucking saying what people says. But the fact that obviously he's known as people says, oh yeah, it's a uh, I don't know a ginger bearded man with mm. a, a big husky because they all think it's a fucking husky because not enough people know the different breeds. And well, I bet he doesn't pick up the shit. When I'll I'll fucking stand there in the pitch black, put my torch on my phone to make mm. sure I can pick up that shit because. Well, he's, he doesn't shit as big as my old dog, old, but it's still big yeah. enough. And look, I see, as I say, I'm always looking down so I don't stand in it and that. And there's one round the corner look, from where this geezer fucking spoke to me yesterday as well that I don't even think it's a dog shit. It looks like a pisshead's fucking runny shit. Uh -huh. like he's left the pub and that, and he's, he's like, I can't get over yeah, quick enough. Yeah. And he's like, he's on the middle of the path, and he's just pulled his fucking just trousers right. down or whatever. and just just Because it, it was just mush, man. It was fucking... Yeah, I don't know, cornmeal or whatever, it's disgusting. So the fact that people think that I'm happy to fucking do that, leave it on the floor, I wouldn't know. Fair enough, there has been a handful of times, because my dog can be a, a bit of a dickhead sometimes, he'll essentially crawl inside a fucking bush or in the trees and that and do it like, in the stingers yeah. and stuff. Now, I'm not following inside that to get it, but... That's not where someone else is going to walk yeah, in and yeah, stand yeah. in it either. Then. You know, if, if it's in the middle of the fucking grass, or especially if it's on the path, then I'll get it out. Look, I don't know why as well. There's a spot. Uh, they've got a red Astra, and he likes to go on their little bit of grass, but they've not long had the drive done and that, so mm. it's fresh grass and that. And he likes to go on that spot. And so I fucking I have to keep picking it up from there as well. And it's only in the mornings that I go that route. And so the fact that I have to keep picking up from there, and I'm doing this in the pitch black, yet people still have the fucking audacity to think on one of these dickheads that doesn't pick it up. Oh, God, I was so pissed off. Man. Yeah, I bet. Fucking, literally, I got back, and I was just, like, because it was raining a bit, I'm drawing the dog, and like, I was trying hard not to, like, mush him up too hard because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm angry, and you just want to fucking rage a little bit. But, yeah, the cheek of it, so... <laughs> Yeah, I, I just I hope that he now tells them people that he's had a chat with me, yeah. like just passing by, and I pulled the bags out, and I assured him that I'm not one of these lazy cunts because it is it's it is lazy. As I get it, if it's in the middle of a bush somewhere or whatever, but but when it's in someone's where someone can pathway. walk through it, so be on the path 
or on the grass where people or kids play football or you know i've seen people having picnics on this fucking yeah. grass and i know how much dog shit's on there because i struggle fucking walking floor like, if the dog's walking i'll let him be out on the lead and that and i'll stay on the path because i don't want to stand in it fucking you know because i reckon some people must look at me while i'm walking around sometimes like what the fuck's up with him because i'll be like tiptoeing around because i want to make sure i don't stand in any and if i do it's bare minimal because yeah. i'm tiptoeing essentially which is yeah weird to look at i imagine but yeah, you got has to be done. Yeah, because it's bad enough having mud on your trainers. You don't want shit. Yeah, you know, and then someone comes in and walks it on your carpet. Nah. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that my fuck you now. So, uh, yeah, little rants over yeah, now. And you haven't had a rant for a while. I know. Yeah, um, I, I could have had a fair few rants over the time, but I even put it as a note on my fucking phone as well. But I've remembered to say. Right. Um. So now. <laughs> I know we did say it was going to be a longer episode this week anyway, because it is episode 50. Um, but yeah, we are finally going to get onto the old correspondence. Obviously, we did do miles at the beginning of the episode. Um, we'll get back onto the emails first, because we did uh, leave one off last week because we was running out of time. Um, but we are recording earlier today, mm-hmm. uh, so we have got a time, even though we're not going to go on for much longer. We say that we'll see we'll see um but yeah so we'll jump on to Curtis's email from last week uh hi guys uh still no joy with the dating which is a shame uh just a question what was a red flag that made you stop talking to a person immediately Ooh. now uh for me it wasn't one that i'd stop talking to immediately but there was one lady that I was with in particular uh, a good couple of years ago now, but um, look, we, we, was, we weren't even together for that long at this point, or, but I don't know, say it was like three months in or something. So talking away in general, she, she turned around, she's going, yes, yeah, so when we have kids next year, I was like, I ain't having kids next year. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I want to have a baby next year. And so I nicked it straight in the board and says, look, you have a kid next year, it's not going to be with me. And so pretty much ended it there yeah, and then. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she did. She did. She had a fucking, because it was around Christmas as well. Because I can't forget, she got me fucking a cheering tickets for a concert and that as well. And I had that contemplation in my head, do I get back with her? But nah, fucking, I wasn't going to risk it. But yeah, she ended up getting with someone else and having a child pretty much straight away. And what happens to Ed Sheeran tickets? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I just cried over the imagination yeah. of her. Gutted, but uh, yeah, that I'd say that was the the main thing. I've I've, I've had it, I'd say, loads of times, enough times, just general chat, like trying to chat someone up, and uh, just like, nah, fuck this, you, it's a dead conversation, or I can't be asked, not being it, and then you just yeah. move on. But uh, yeah, that was definitely the worst one for me. Um, how about yourself? Anything that comes to mind for you? No, I yeah, I have. We just. For me, because my partner just walked in the room, so it's a bit awkward. But it's all right, you've been together long enough. Yeah, we are. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Uh, no, for me, it's when you would text, they would text, sorry, and yeah. then before you even responded, they'd text you again asking if you I think was all right or the over texting. So I hate texting in general because the amount of people that will text, but they'll send it individual sentences. Yeah. Just send it all as one fucking text message. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not like old school where you had like 140 yeah. characters. And you have to pay for each one. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you got a shorthand the batteries. 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 <laughs> no. Just fucking write it all out properly. Use fucking try and use a bit of fucking grammar, punctuation, full stops, exclamation mark here and there. And just send it all as one message. Yeah. But no, no, I agree with that. But yeah, for me, it was just <sighs> yeah, it was just the over texting sometimes, you know, when you you couldn't get any space from me, like just fucking leave me alone. Yeah, especially and when then the call as well. That... Yeah, and you you've blow, I don't know, say you're at work and it's a text message. Yeah. And you can't see your phone, you haven't heard it, whatever. And then you, you look and there's five messages. So why are you ignoring me? Because I'm fucking busy and I'm not ignoring you. I am now though. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you for your email. I mean though. to be fair, I saw that with the missus. So I can't <laughs> say that I missed them back. Or don't miss them days. Um, but yeah, Kirsty, fucking, um, I don't know, just fucking 
just keep grinding, any. Oh, well, uh, if you're not having any sex, don't grind. Um, unless you're humping your pillows, I don't know. Uh, or those puppets, never mm. know. Uh, just watch out for friction burn. Um, Miles were already rattled off with that one early doors. Uh, James, fucking James, on it again, and uh, one trophy down, three to go. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this oh, no. uh, he's not wrong though. No, yeah, he's, what a trophy! Yeah, what the, a man, yeah. the one, um, the open bus parade will be mental, mm. will be when it's just one trophy that you're parading around in front of all you, the actual skaters. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't even watch the game, uh, I, I knew that Liverpool were gonna win, even when I saw that it was all the youth essentially. Um, which fair play to them, rocking back up to school the next day, getting a little fucking uh, walk of honour and that. Um, yeah, it's, it's just embarrassing for Chelsea. Got yeah. A billion pounds spent on the squad and they just can't do anything. And the way that the media aren't like, pushing for potch outs, they're like, let, letting him fucking go by and you know no slander or anything and they're letting Eddie Howe fucking plod on when they got battered on the weekend as well. Yeah, and fair enough, yes, United played shit and deserved to lose to Fulham at Old Trafford. But, you know, it's just, it's like they've got the, the articles ready, 10 arg out. They, they won that narrative. Yeah, they just, they, like, because the media didn't want him as United manager, they wanted Pochettino. And so it's like, they're just, any little thing, they're trying to get him out. You know, they're, they're coming out the other day, fucking, uh, there's a rift between him and Marcus Rashford. Oh, Fucking, have you seen any of his little fucking statements as well? No. So, again, because he played sheets on the weekends and the other nights, uh, you know, he's throwing his arms around, fucking, he's not tra- tracking back and that. And fair enough, yeah, he's because Hoyland's injured, he's playing up front as the number nine. So, you know, you can't really track back in that position, but it's the lack of effort and the enthusiasm. And so, because he's got a bit of stick from fans, fucking. He's given a little statement saying, you know, I had a hard childhood and I got offered to play for another club. They were going to get me a house and this and that, but I chose to stay with United and, you know, I've come through hard times before and this and that. Mate, if I was getting paid 325 grand a week, I'd, bollocks, I'd be fucking helping the groundsman cut the grass. Yeah, I'd yeah, be cleaning yeah. that fucking team bus. Cleaning the fucking, boots, mate. Mate, I'd be doing everything. I'd, Lads, give me your kit. I'll take it home. I'll wash it. Don't worry. I've That's got cleaners it, yeah. to do that. Yeah, I'm don't paying worry. cleaners to do I'll yeah, sort yeah. it out. Well, fuck it. I'll do everything that I possibly could as well as put a shift in on the fucking pitch. Fucking. And he has the cheek. It's all publicity. You know, the prick hasn't even... Look, like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> look, I, I am getting a bit fucking raggy. I'm still a bit emotional from the, the poo uh, blame from the fucking other people. Um, but... I like him. He's he, he was a good lad. He's a man now, and he needs to fucking stop being a child. Yeah, I you mean, know, he never apologised for the bullshit uh, over in Belfast. He's putting out stupid fucking tweets of him doing a puzzle and fucking drinking a cup of tea and whatever. We don't need that bullshit. Yeah, just fucking get your head down and play football. It's all yeah. we need. It's pretty. I don't know if the word is ironic that he's saying I had a hard upbringing, but he's been on. You know, he's been... When did he break through a Man United? 17? 17. So 10 years ago. So for 10 years, he's had it easy, not hard. Yeah, but it, it was... From the, a financial point of view. Yeah, it was the stupid stuff, like, you know, my family made sacrifices for me to be a professional footballer. Yeah, and, and that, but, look what he's paid for. Yeah, like, and you think of... That's it's a good so investment. common these yeah. days, though. You know, the amount of people that put the heart and soul in the kids to be a professional and don't footballer. Make it. And it don't, yeah, it doesn't happen, or... You know, not that it's a bad thing, but they're playing for a conference league or a league. Yeah, one they can't team afford to look after everyone that's looked after them. Yeah, they? but you know, it's just part of being a parent these days. Because you know, my brother could have uh, done well with football. I don't think a Premier League level, but you know, he, he had the chance to play for Burton Albion and stuff. And you know, his heart wasn't in the game. Yeah, it wasn't the other way around. It wasn't through lack of effort on dad's side and that. You know, I've said it before. I potentially could have gone on to be a, a goalkeeper, but I started working and fucking, you know, earning money. So I was not looking after myself in that sense. I was thinking of fucking, oh, I got money, get on the bears, kid. We, but, you know, this lad's, he's had the world thrown at him and he's just fucking, he's, he's wasting it. Yeah. 
because he's got that contract now. And a lot of people are saying it's uh, since he split up with fucking Alicia Lehman, who plays for Aston Villa, um, which I've never seen a picture of her with no makeup on. So I've, I don't know. Was he even with her? Apparently, this is what I'm reading. And look, so uh, when they were together last year, he had a great season and then they've split up. And it's all gone to shit for him now. So I thought she was with that Villa player. I don't know, oh, mate. Uh, I don't know. But it's it's just what I keep seeing from uh, other people. No, he's just got the money. He doesn't care. Now he wants I to move on. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, got yeah. the contract. Um, he's not happy. He wants to move on. Just let him move on. Well, that's what he's saying in his fucking statement, though. You know, he's, he'll bleed for Manchester and fucking this and that. And but he won't run for him. I know. It's, it's so contradictory. It's, so don't waste your time. Sitting there with you, you uh, yeah, trying to make a point, just yeah, make a point, and yeah, you know, you're getting your fucking PR team to fucking write the statements and fucking get the camera set up and that just to do this bullshit for a bit of sympathy. No, just say to the fucking fans, Look, I'm sorry, I've not been good enough, I'm trying, and then put the fucking yeah. shift in, stop throwing your arms around, put your fucking head down, get on the ball, you don't even need to score, just put the fucking ball in for someone else, you know, get the assist, just, just contribute to the game, stop being a fucking shithead. Right. So two runs. Two runs, yeah. yeah. 50 um, special. But, two. but James, the, the Man City is still going to win the league. I think, um, you, you know what? You and James need to do some kind of thing, you know. So, like, if <laughs> Liverpool do win the, like, you know, win, <laughs> if like... If Liverpool win the Prem, he's getting blocked. <laughs> 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 nah. Nah, I'll, I'll still, uh, I'll accept you, you shit house, Rick. Um, if... Liverpool can win the league. But I can't see it happening. Just mm. can't. Unfortunately, they've got an injury crisis at the moment. And we saw what happened before when Van Dijk and that was out. You know, they really struggled. Fortunately for them, he's all right at the moment. Mm. But, you know, it's it's going to be hard. It's one thing beating Chelsea. who were fucking, what, like 12 or something still. And I'll beat a boy in there. Yeah. So. Um, but but yeah. still, they've won a couple already. One more than Man U. So yeah, but we won more than them last year as well. well it's not and then yet. we've got them in the next round of the FA Cup. Well, that'd so, be a good uh, one. Yeah, James. If we'll see in. your comments off of that yeah. one. Fuck you. I'd love them to win now. James oh, just God, fucking man. give we it. We ain't recording that weekend. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ignore that email. Mm. Now nah, I'll still read it out. I'm not a sore loser. <laughs> but uh, now nah, we'll we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, I think that was it with the emails. Let me just double check before I get on to it. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was it on the emails. So let's go through on the old WhatsApps. Um, I will say names. I won't say numbers. Uh, right. Well, I'd have to click on the thing for the numbers anyway. Uh, it's from Abs. Oh, my God. This is Levels. Love your advice. Do you think Steve's mate... And get back to having a normal relationship. <laughs> I'm so invested. <laughs> no, abs, right. thanks for uh, hitting the real talk hotline. Um, and just so you know, Steve's WhatsApp as well. Right, right. Fucking Stevie. Right, boy. this has got everyone gripped. So, Steve's mate, he was uh, on the sofa for a little while. Yeah, his after, missus yeah. was uh, getting banged out on fucking OnlyFans. Not while they've been together, but... Before. Yeah, and yeah. now she just does solo stuff. Yeah, because we asked, we just assumed she's doing solo stuff, didn't we, for him to get back together, for them to, to get back together. Uh, well, I'm guessing that's still what it is, because right. there was... Uh, because she still... I'm sure, no, didn't we ask if she was still doing it? Yeah, so right. she was still doing it, and his mate wanted to see the content before it went out. Right, that's it. So yeah. it has to be solo stuff, because you're not... You, well, unless you're into that thing, being a cook or whatever, lot. But, but so, so we got a message from Steve. Yeah. So Steve, uh, hi lads, it's Steve, <laughs> the OnlyFans friend. <laughs> uh, there's nothing really new to update. He's just keeping his head down. A few people know what happened, so he's just staying in. Really, uh, I believed she had a normal job. Cause, oh, yeah, we asked what did we think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. we didn't know uh, what anyone thought that she did for a living. Um, yeah, I uh, believe she had a normal job, just something in an office. Uh, never came up in conversation much, so didn't think. Uh, I'm trying to get him out for some beers, so I'll keep you posted with any news. Lol. Right. 
So Steve, Steve's like a little fucking little agent for us. He's a. It's, <laughs> it's interesting though because he, it's always weird if you know, if you would have, you know, well, if you thought like your girlfriend had a normal job or and then it turns out to be something like that, it's how you would react. Yeah. So going to Ab's message, could it go back to normal? I mean, what is normal these days in general? But can you be normal when your missus is doing all that for money? Um, For us, I don't think it would go back to normal because that's not a part of our generation. No. It but wasn't like, a thing. But look, if she's already done it, it's already out there. And it's like, it's already out there regardless. So why yeah. stop now? Because it's already out there. I think if he would have known about it, getting into the relationship, it wouldn't have been an issue. Mm. But finding out about it, the way that he did, um, and then, you know, obviously taking a little break and then getting back together, it's all down to his own emotions, really. Is he going to be able to not be jealous, uh, not be controlling or anything, you know, so if he, if he is wanting to keep an eye on the content, uh, how is he keeping an eye on it? Is he going to get involved? Um, hopefully Steve's trying to find those questions. Yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully he does go out for a beer with him and, uh, mate, just get him steaming. Just, just get him on the old vodka and the, the fucking Sambucas and fucking just, just get him lagging any. Yeah. Just, hear some stories mate, then. Mate, go on, get it up. Thank you. Fucking, <laughs> like, Maybe because you do want to see his missus fucking nips or whatever, Lord, but you know, just just find out what the content is. Let us know because Abs wants to know. Uh, I'm sure other people want to know as well, not just Abs. Uh, but yeah, we um, I don't know because we haven't been through anything like you. It's a hard one. Yeah. So if it was because uh, originally he asked about cheating, wasn't he? I think how would we fit? Or involving no, no. someone else that asks. Yeah, no, it was someone else about that, but he asked how would. Oh, oh, he went straight to the point, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I know we've said it before, like, how would we feel if a partner in jail or whatever? Um, but it's not. If if she hasn't done that stuff while they're together, it's not cheating. It's, she said, that, if I remember correctly, she hasn't done anything like that since they've got together. Yeah, I think it's. With that, it just comes down to the trust. Can you trust that she's not going to be taking any advantages? Because, you know, depending on what level it is, you know, there's, uh, there'll be people inboxing, texting and whatever. And then, you know, there's probably going to be other people saying, oh, I'm a content creator as well. I'll give you some money. Jump Let's in do the fucking collab. scene with me and whatever. And we'll fucking bring each other out or something. I don't know. Um, so... Can you trust that that's not going to happen? Or if it is going to happen, are you going to be happy having the conversation mm. and letting it happen? Or, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't be comfortable with it. All these things must have been discussed, though, because obviously he's moved Hopefully back Hopefully they in. have, yeah. You know, but Stephen just together. needs to get, you know. Just get the, get the dish, ain't it, man? We want to sit here with a cup of tea or a beer moretta <laughs> and uh, read the details, ain't it? Um, you know, give it all to the fans. Because, yeah, Steve, you, you're under pressure now anyway, mate. It's not just for us. We've got, we've got people wanting to know what's going on, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we've got another one here from Laura. Uh, hey, guys, do you think could you could disappear and not be found, like, on the run from the police? So, to oh, me, right. I, I was thinking about that program that was out Haunted. before then. I don't know what it was called, but, yeah, I don't know. You had, like, a week not to be caught or something. Yeah, no, I think it was a bit longer than that. I but yeah, so they drop you off at a location and then you had to stay off the radar of the hunters. And then I think it was like three days before it finished, they'd give you a location where you had to get to to get the money. Uh, so it was like that. But I think, yes, I think I could. But you'd have to be really strict and you'd have to live from a 10 bicycle. Because you couldn't have a car. Yeah. You couldn't have a car. The IPR would get you. No. That, that what they call the IPR machine. What they called? Yeah, AMPR. Yeah. Uh, AMPR. That's the one. The, sorry. Yeah. So it's auto, automatic number plate. That's the uh, one. Yeah. So AMPR and it. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think you'd have to just uh, initially go to the bank and just block empty yeah. as much as you can anyway. So I think in general, depending on what bank you, you 
you but then you're going to have to get caught though at some point because you you run out of money. Well, yeah. So what I'd do is well, get as much cash out as they, they'll physically let me. Um, not that I've got tens of thousands in the bank and anyway, but you know, get it all out. Then I'd give some someone my credit. Card, well, or, I don't know. So whatever money's left in my debit account, give someone that card. Give someone else a credit card and that. Just go, go fuck off, do shit, spend money. Yeah, like, but not in Birmingham. Or the best money is just travel away. Yeah, you yeah. Direct just, them away. And yeah, you so they can't track you that way. Uh, I think I'd be able to cheat a fair bit as well. So shave my head, shave my beard. Mm. I'd be a lot less recognisable. Um, again, not wear the glasses. Uh, you know, I'd struggle to see some things, but... <laughs> You know, I wouldn't be driving at that point, so I wouldn't need to read the number plates. Um, and then, yeah, just get yourself a load of uh, easy food, as you say. Just go out, camp somewhere and that, man. Easy. Yeah, because what I've, what I've seen on the hunted, the best ones are always... I remember two lads just getting two bikes, getting tents, and all they did is literally just go on the bikes every day. So I caught, camped that, and I absolutely smashed it. And I, I always thought that was the best way to be, just locate under the radar. So, so I never used to watch it all, but do you not think that the, the camera crew would have cheated? I, I always said this, because I says, because they know it's the camera more than the people. Yeah. Someone's got a big fuck off camera. And but also, that, and you'd think, well, because they never sure. move at night as well. It's like from Los like, Angeles time, you never see him like, look two o'clock in the morning moving. It's all, I feel like they have set times where everyone stops, but I always feel like. I don't know. I suppose you'd want to do it during peak times anyway, because it's. Well, for the CCTV side of things, it's busier. It's less likely to be able to spot you in a crowd and stuff. But, yes, but like if you're, I don't know. I, I'd think that the camera crew would give you more. Would give you a. I, I think so. But it's not just that. I'm thinking like they'd be like, hang on, we're we're heading to such and such. Yeah, they're we're heading to the Manchester. People that. Yeah, because that's the name of the game. They want the the thrill of being caught and yeah. stuff. Like, so, and just missing them. Like yeah. just oh, there was just there uh, like yesterday or an hour ago. Yeah, so I think if it wasn't a part of a TV program. I think I'd smash it. I think I could do it for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. It's just it's just funding, and you just need a network, I suppose, for how long. Yeah, well, as I say, like, I'd, I'd get a load of cash, um, and then I'd just be able to just put slap to a little shop somewhere, fucking get the supplies, get some tins of beans, some fucking so some have to bread bring a lot of tins, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just, just fucking just live it up in the woods for a little while, man. It's yeah. fucking easy enough. Little camp out. I mean, to be fair, with some of the caravan parks I've been over the years, I could easily go to one of them. You know, it's all self-catering and that. Yeah, no one's, no, no, yeah no one's in the night you there. Yeah, I've doubt that cash. those fucking cameras inside of the fucking little spa that's on site are fucking well, like, connected yeah, to the yeah, big yeah, rubber. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you just go in, fucking, and as I say, I'd shave my hair and fucking everything, so... They're not going to recognise me off of that anyway. And then, yeah. Just so you just leave it there, are Because I did it a couple of years ago. Uh, it was like £260 for a week. And, like, you know, it's gas and electric, fucking free TV. Uh, there wasn't Wi-Fi. I could have paid for it. But, yeah, fucking. The hardest thing would be, like, not having your phone, not being able yeah, to use yeah, your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I suppose you'd have to do that you'd as well. You'd have to get a burner phone. Yeah, and get a SIM card, yeah, yeah, yeah. put ten pound on it, and fucking it. flick through TikTok that way, then, any? That's it. That's it. Wow. Well, I mean, the main thing would be porn. Oh, I'd have to still bank. <laughs> I could, mate. Fucking, I wouldn't be able to do it, and look, that's why I couldn't do Big Brother or anything. I'd have to still be able to release myself. Fucking no, but this, there must. I know in the they're doing on there. <laughs> yeah, but that's they used to do. It. You love it, don't you? No, nah, I didn't even finish watching it. It was. I it, do not believe you. Do oh. not believe you. Um, right, now there was, since we're on uh, essentially camping, we've got one from Lee. Uh, so he was the first one to text as well. It was on right. Sunday. Um, I think it was Sunday, well, I don't know. But I'd seen the, the phone, because say for anyone that does text or WhatsApp on 07470 uh, 488 I'm not going to be holding the phone all the time. I am going to just look at it intermittently. Um, so Lee started off with, is this real? 
And I'll say, yes, it's the Real Talking Podcast. <laughs> uh, so he's gone, mad, love the pod. So cheers, mate. Send us your questions in. I'll read them out. So <laughs> shout out to me. And uh, yeah, so he said, have you got any funny camping slash tent stories? Uh, so a joint one for us would be when we went away. Oh, the uh, Breen, was it? Was it yeah, it was Breen. Um, so we borrowed a tent from a friend who's it's their dad's tent that they use for fishing. Mm. So straight off the bat, you can imagine that it smelt like yes. fish. Uh, the zip was broke on it as well, weren't it? Yeah. But initially we didn't care. We we wrapped up because it was us suing your brother. Uh, was some of your family there in yes. on holiday and that as well? So remember. some of my family was there in the caravan part, and we was in the camping part of yeah, it. Yeah, because they, they've got their own caravan. Yeah. There, it? So. That they would have just been there anyway. Yeah. I don't think it was because of them we went there in general. No, I think we but, planned it and they just happened to be there because I would yeah. go there quite often. So, yeah, we've literally, we've wrapped up in the van, got the tent out, pegged it down and that, and we just wanted to get surrounded the beers. I remember, like, we set it up and it was like, yeah, they ain't going nowhere. Yeah, this, this is sweet. <laughs> this, this, is, is. this is solid, we yeah. Get some food, get some drinks and that. We're having a good time now. Fucking get on it. And, uh, it wasn't even a light one that we got no, back there, was no, it? We, no, what we did, mate, we went and saw some family, asked them what was going on, and I'm sure we went to, like, the club on site for, like, one or two, mm. went back to get changed because we were going towards the evening, and yeah. then you pick up the story there, mate. So, uh, like how it has been recently a bit windy, uh, the wind came out of nowhere yeah. there as well, and so as we walked around the corner, because it was like a... a open bit of hedge uh, leading to the, the camping side of the we, field. We did camp up when no one else was. Like, everyone was to the right and we just went to the left, if yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah, because we were watching the corner, corner straight yeah, away, yeah, yeah. And uh, so you, you saw the van and then you saw where the tent was <laughs> and then <laughs> the tent was like you the... saw the tent in the hedge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And the pegs were still in the ground yeah. as well. I think it was like one bit of string hanging off one where it snapped like, up or something. If we would have left that like another hour, that would have gone. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a quick attempt to like re-peg it back down and that. I'll... But he was solid from there, though, from the second yeah, side. But it's not like we did much different. No, I, no. I think, I think we bent the pegs over a bit more so there was two points of contact yeah, into the soil yeah. and that. Um but yeah, it was just ridiculous. And then I remember when we got back on the night time properly then, well, because the zip wasn't closing. Yeah, you'd have to you parked your van with the side door open, wasn't it? So you went over the side door. Yeah, we was trying to do that. Uh, but it was the back door, weren't the back it? Back door, sorry, yeah. I, did I have a sliding door on that van? Yeah, no, I'm sure you did. I can't remember now. But I, I remember the van door was trying to do it and that as well. But Essentially, I remember just sleeping in the van then anyway. And because uh, your brother stayed in the tent then, didn't I? No, I it was thought... was you that stayed in no, the no. tent and your brother was in the I van. I thought me and you stayed in the tent and Jamie stayed in the back of your van. I can't remember that. I know we ended up splitting up anyway. Yeah, yeah that it was, was it. us two in the tent, wasn't it? Because you was... I remember I got some tape out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying yeah. to block the fucking gap up where the yeah. zipper was popped as well, didn't Yeah. God. I mean, we weren't even that drunk either. I suppose no, it was that... a good job we weren't on. Like, Completely laggy, but oh god, yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely that the, night. Yeah, your brother in the uh, in the back of the van. Oh god. Um, so that was a funny, funny one. Uh, camping story in that. Have you got any other ones? No. So it's not so much a camping one. It's obviously when we all went to Yarmouth, but we stayed in the caravan. It's not so much camping, but you know, you have, you know. Lads in a car van, mm. you know, you know what's going on. But uh, yeah, it was. But apart from that, I'd say that's the only really camping experience I've ever had, mate. I'm not a big camper. I don't. I, I'm. Not, I don't like the fact that when you need a piss, you have to go to like the toilets, like the communal toilets, to have a piss. Well, that's when you're on a side, like. Yeah, or, yeah. Otherwise, if you do natural camping, you're just out in the woods and yeah. just piss against the trainer. Um. So I've done enough of it when I was in the cadets and that tent boys and uh or burpers and that lot but i remember when i was 16 uh with the first missus and uh so her mom and dad had the caravan 
the, the tow away with them, uh, you know, stashing in the back garden and, you know, hooking up to the back of the motor. And so there was, I, I think it mo- must have been the first time I went away with them. And so, you know, 16, I, I wasn't a drinker at this point, mm. but a dad's there giving me fucking drink after drink. And so even though they had the, the side awning, which is like a tent that goes onto yeah, the side yeah, of yeah. the caravan, uh, we still slept in a tent outside. And uh, we started getting down to it, started making some sweet love. And that was it. The fucking, I, I, I says, we got to stop. And I threw up in the tent. Oh. And it was loads as well. Because oh, just... you throw, you do throw yeah. floors, <laughs> It was just pure alcohol, though, man. It was fucking mental. Um, so yeah, ended up having to fucking uh, sleep in the awning then. Um, and yeah, I remember just hosing down the caravan. The fucking well, so give it a partial clean at that point, but I had to full on fucking clean it out and everything. Then, luckily, it was only for a weekend because uh, I was so embarrassed, man. But yeah, yeah, it was all right after then. I knew to fucking well because it. You know, your first beers and all like proper beers, you, you don't fucking know when to stop. And uh not that I ever really did know when to stop when I was younger, but yeah, with other people, not the adults really, um, I knew not to try and keep up with him. Yeah. Um, I remember one time though, I went camping. Well, I was in a caravan and uh with one one of the old partners and um you know when you can tell people's having sex? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always funny. Cause you're like, they're having sex. <laughs> yeah. Because you can know. hear it more, can't you? Especially in the caravan. Because yeah, yeah. you, you can feel the, the motion yeah. in the ocean as well, can't you? Um, but yeah, I mean, there's loads of caravan stories I could rattle on with. But we'll save them for another day. I do want to get through the rest of these uh, WhatsApps. Uh, so we've got one from Ryan here. Uh What's happening, lads? My mate thinks he can pull the waitress at Hooters. What's your views? Oh. So Hooters, there's, there's only a couple over here as well, isn't there? I think yeah, there's, there's a few, yeah. No, there's definitely no. one in Liverpool. I don't think there's one in Birmingham. There's one in Nottingham, I believe. I believe so. I, I've never seen one after me. Well, I've, I've only seen it on TV because obviously it's, it's big over in America. Um, now... Fair play to this lad if he does manage to pull her. Well, so like he's but, talking the game, but he's you know, yeah, that's when he gets on the field, let's see how he plays. So, Roy, you need to mate, uh, you need to big your mate up so yeah, much yeah, that yeah. he can, if, him, yeah, he, that he thinks, goes yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Just, just tell him that you've got all the reese and all the jizz so you can do this and get him to go for it and get your phone out, just give a little record and. For our pleasure, it goes all Pete Tong. Yeah. Because um, you got to bear in mind. She probably gets hit on all the time. Though, it's going it? to be, so gonna be constant. Maybe you have to be a little discreet just leave your number on. You know, like when you've paid the bill, and you leave a little tip. Yeah, I mean, there's there. ways to it. You know, my missus was working behind the bar when I met her off. And, uh, you know, fucking, we know how that ended. Happily married. But then if you got someone with Hooters... That works. Who would you be jealous then? Because you know what that job. I'm not saying it's like a sexual job, but well, yeah, it's more sexual because it, yeah. it's, it's you, in terms of no, that, isn't it? There's nothing. There's nothing going on. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's men perving. Yeah, yeah. Of, it's, of that's that's the the name the, of the game. Any essentially, yeah, that's but, what I was gonna say. I would say to you, mate. Sorry, dodgy little technical error there. But Ash, you was giving some real advice. Yeah. All I was going to say is to you, mate, you know, take him there. Let's see what he's got. You know, and you can't knock him for trying. Give him a go. And if he does well. Get him drunk now. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to be any, especially if you go with yeah, the lads. Need, like, need a good bit of Yeah. Coffee. I wouldn't, it'd be interesting to know why he thinks this. What happened for him to think, oh, I can pull it, the Hooters chick? That's interesting. Now, they've I, been I've before. just got in my head that it's like your man from uh, the in between us. <laughs> Jack. Yeah, Jay. <laughs> just just chatting shit. Like, you know, reckons he's got a fucking 16 inch dick and that old. But yeah, mate, I, I could take her home if I wanted to. But go on then. Mm. Just get in there. Sit, let's see what happens. Yeah, so if you're listening to this as it comes out, uh, Saturday, the 2nd of March, 
10 o'clock. Um, but by the time you finish listening to it and get to this point, you be well after 12 o'clock if you're oh, listening right. to it straight away. Jesus. Long episode. Yeah. Hope you're still listening anyway. <laughs> but yeah, get him drunk. Take him out tonight. Get him drunk at Tahooters. <laughs> uh, yeah, record it. Got to record it. Um, and if it is funny, send it in to the Real Talk hotline. Because um, either way, it's a win. It's funny if he does on, and then if he does, it's he's winning. Yeah, high fives all around. Right, right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let us know about that, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for that, Ryan. And uh, last but not least, we've got a message from Carl. Uh, what's up, lads? So you give digs to a few cele- celebrities. Mm. How many have you met, and what are they like? Ooh. So to be fair, it's only me that's really met her. Yeah. And I mean, you, can, you can't really class all the footballers as celebrities. No. Because they just earn a lot of money for yeah. kicking a ball around. Um, have you met anyone notable? No. No. So apart from Dermot O'Leary, shit, I was in it before. Yeah. Um, there was that time with Jeremy Clarkson. Do you remember that? Oh, when shit. When we seen him. <laughs> uh, so it was Kanye West at the NEC. And because. We're them guys that like to get there early. Uh, yeah. Because it wasn't seated, it was standing. So we wanted to be at the front of the queue. Like, not like the little girls at the Taylor Swift concerts with the little signs or whatever. We was the men making sure we were at the front. Mm. Not that we wanted to get squashed against the barrier, but we just wanted but, to make yeah, sure we You don't we want to be in the middle, do you? Yeah. No. You don't want to be. No, if you're going to get there early, you've got to get there early. Yeah. And uh, so we got there, and it was as we was walking around to find the. The, uh, the, the wilding spot. Yeah, where. Uh, the stage where he was going to be and all that. He was walking, well, not through the car park, but along the road. Yeah, we that. went like the back way, didn't we, for some yeah, reason? We, yeah, completely avoided all the shops and that. We went like sort of like the loading bays around yeah. and all that. Were... Pardon me. And uh, yeah, I just remember just walking and you're like, hey, that's Jeremy Clarkson yeah, over there. Because at the same time, they was doing the Top Gear live. Yeah. And I remember they was doing some rehearsals and we just saw him and he was having a fag. And I remember you Cigarette. Going, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I just remember, I think it was you, he was like, Jeremy. And he didn't, yeah, even, I started finish, he didn't even finish that cigarette. He literally just looked, looked, shook his head, dashed his fucking cigarette and went, fuck Yeah, off. just walked back off, <laughs> went back into the studio. He weren't having none of it. He was like, I ain't got time for this. Yeah. <laughs> he was so bad in his head. Yeah, go out the back door. It's quiet. I can have myself a smoke. I'll be fine. And then as soon as you've seen us two little dickheads, like, it's like, power Jeremy, walking. Jeremy! Oh. Oh. Fucking chatting shit. Because we did speed up as well, didn't yeah. we? Wanted to get over to it. I've, yeah, I haven't really met, a, met, a, met many. I've seen a few when I'm trying to, mainly footballers, but then he's doing a grand mm. hard eye. Um, I did see, um, not Gavin and Stacey. Yeah. Who's, what's his name? The one who plays? Gavin. Gavin. Oh, I don't know his real name. So this was at the peak of Gavin and Stacey, which I've never watched, but I seen him walk into, is it called the Palisades in Birmingham? The Palisades up the ramp? Yeah, the old Palisades, yeah. yeah. So he walked up there, and as I'm, I'm coming out, out of the dance, the ramp, him and his friend looked around and was like, fuck this. And he they both went, <laughs> fuck this, like, and just turned back. But it was him. Uh, but he's not the... Uh, famous Gavin that you've met though, is he? Oh, I've had man of Auto Glass. Ah, Gavin from <laughs> Auto Glass. Yeah, Auto yeah. Glass replay. Auto Glass replay. <laughs> yeah, I met the actual Gavin. Yeah, and so for any of the younger listeners and viewers, it was just the old uh, Auto Glass advert. Hi, yeah. I'm Gavin from Auto Glass. And then yeah. just talk about if you've got a your broken window. windscreen, Auto Glass is the one for you. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know. I went to, when I went to LA and we'd done all, because we'd done two, would you go to the Hollywood Homes? Mm. So just, I just wanted one just to fucking walk out the fucking house, and it? Yeah. Stop get, driving past my house. Because, like, the, the driver who, like, obviously in the rights wasn't around this one was like, yeah, you know, we've seen, you know, I know a few of them that come out when they see my car. You're thinking, right, well, the van, sorry. So you're mm. thinking, we're going to see someone here. Didn't see no one. Didn't see no one more for the van. I seen, Adriano Grande's brother get out of Porsche. That's the only person I've seen. 
I wouldn't even know who that is. No, I only know you? because I think was he on Big Brother? He was on. He was on some TV show, and I remember. I remember because Carter pointed arms like that's him. And apart from that, nah, I don't think of. Besides footballers, you don't really see him any, do you? Well, nah. So uh, I saw Gabby Bangalore. Uh, I was in his car park, and he was walking past the, which I've said before. I uh, told him he played shit the day before, which was uh, every game from him, really. Um, and if the gates weren't there, he would have swung for me, told me to fuck off. Um, probably one of the smartest things he's ever said. Um, yeah, I've worked in a lot of footballers' houses, had a poo in most of them. A um, few people that worked for the BBC. Uh, there was a Tory MP years ago as well. He was actually okay. Um, yeah, but I'd say the most famous ones were in the Palisades again, the Power Rangers. The actual, the actual Power Rangers. They weren't the actual oh. ones. It was just like... Uh, Obviously, well, like just the yeah, slot the stunt people yeah. in the costumes and that. But oh. I was a kid, any uh, to yeah. me, it was them, it was the real Power Rangers. I had a picture with uh, I think if I remember rightly, it was Billy and Trina, nice, uh, because Tommy wasn't there, it was just the five of the, the original five. Oh, geez, um, ah, uh, sorry, only last night, um, so the apparently it's in development. I reboot series of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that's going to be on Netflix and they're going to be hour-long episodes. You know, did you, did, obviously you watched our Netflix special, didn't you? The anniversary special. I did, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's aged well enough, mate. No, but you, so <laughs> yeah. I saw it's a reboot anyway. Okay. So it's not going to be... It probably will have cameos of original cast. Yeah. Um, Can you imagine how woke that's going to be, though? It's uh, It's... I imagine it's just going to be similar to the the reboot film that they did, really. Mm. Uh, but I don't know how it's going to work story wise because you've got to develop the characters. Um, can you still have a big voice on each one? I mean, it, it's got to be similar in a sense to and, how like, Supernatural was. And that. could you get a ray with just hiding behind a bush and teleporting from your watch when there's smartphones well, yeah, and it's, do you know what I mean? It's got to be modern it's, now. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah. Um, but hang on, five of them was just here. No, they're not. Yeah. And it happens all the time. And are they still going to wear the same colours representing their power yeah, yeah, like, costumes? Because that was just two yeah, on the nose. Don't you well. think, like, if you're like, oh, fucking Billy always wears blue. Man. And they're like... <laughs> Especially when they're, they're like, the save the friends yeah, as well. Yeah, it's yeah. like, surely you'd be like, that sounded like that cunt. That yeah. You know. Balkan score, definitely no. They should have done. But... Is that their name, Balkan score? Yeah, yeah. Not the real names, but yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it, I think it was meant to have been coming out the back end of this year as well, from what I saw. Uh, so I'll be keeping an eye out for it. I will watch it. Some sometimes just some things just need to be left over there. Uh... Well, you know, it's as long as they're still making money from it, they're gonna do uh... it, aren't they? You know, it's like The Simpsons on season five hundred now, and they're still going. Yes, but it's like how I met. Might... Obviously, how I met your mother was fucking great, and then mm. how I met your father has already been cancelled. Yeah, like, which was annoying. It's just cause... like at least give you one more just to finish it off. Just yeah. rush it. Just like ah, oh. yeah. tell us who the barber was. Then. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought... Which I, I, I go on because I I think I know who he was, but I can't remember his name. But oh, I didn't make a prediction. I knew it was going to be. To be honest, I know who I thought it was going to be. The um, oh, the Indian lad, the one that owns the bar. But. He was married, Werner. He was going to get married. And I tell you why I think it was him. From the very start, when they sat in the taxi, them two spoke about love. And there was like, it shouldn't be this, he should be that. And there was times in the series where it was just them two. I remember one time they both went to a vending machine after they've had an argument. And I was like, relationships are tough. You've got to work through stuff. And he was, and I was just like, that's both. So as if they were trying to do the same with Robin. Yes. And but, and because you never saw the person. Like, you never saw it from, you never saw the kid. I was just going to say, so, we never see the kid, so, so you can't see their ethnicity. Exactly. So yeah. I thought, it's got to be someone in the group. Because well, otherwise, if, if, if it wasn't, you would have just seen the person, because well, yeah, he'd have no to, relevance to Yeah, him. it has to be from the yeah. friend group. So that's why I'm, that's, that's what I thought. You can't see him because he's got to be from the friends, the friends group. Mm. That's why you're not seeing him. But for me... That's who it was going to be. Yeah, hopefully the, there is another network that picks it up. So I 
it was on it was on Hulu in the US and Disney Disney plus over Um, so hopefully someone uh, picks it up you know even if it is Netflix that just does it for the season just to tie it off because it cracks me up when they do that the They'll build a story. I mean, I wasn't investing into it much. But I'm sure it's like only 10 episodes a season as well. Like the original, yeah, the original had like 24. It went on for days and it was great. I mean, I've been a while since I've watched it, but I have watched it numerous times yeah, from yeah, start yeah. to finish. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, there is more stuff that we can still rattle on about. Uh, Paul Pogba, four year ban. Yeah, fuck it. There's no, no relevant scene no. to point out because, no. you know, when's, when's he last played? He hasn't played. For like ten years, really. And when was last time you played? Wow, you know what I mean. mean, For like ten years, um, yeah, handful of times for United. Never watch Juventus. Uh, He's played like twice for them, injured straight away. Um, yeah, Ronaldo's had a one game ban as well. Um, yeah, uh, there's other stuff. Uh, but otherwise, no, we'll end it there. It has been a long and wonderful episode. 50, I was going to say 30 then. But, An anniversary um, one. Anniversary episode, one year, uh, big boys. And yeah, we'll let it go there. Don't forget to send the texts in, WhatsApps and whatever. Uh, still carry on emailing that as well if you want to. Links are all in the description. Floating around on the YouTube page, on the uh, screen and that here and there throughout the video. Because sometimes they might need a little bit of break from just seeing our faces. That's it. Uh, depends on what they're into. Um, I wonder if anyone has like, watched it and had a little wank off or something I hope not <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, let I us see, know if you have I hope not <laughs> uh, so yeah we'll leave it there uh, we're all going out I'm going home you're going out mm-hmm. sushi that's it and so yeah any final words no just uh, just to say as I know I said it earlier just to thank everyone that's supported the show throughout the year uh, and you know, I took time listening, email now, messaging on the real hotline. But yeah, no, I just want to say a big thank you for everyone. You know, we couldn't have done it without you. We've, we've, we're thankful for it. Yeah, and uh, here's to another year. And last but not least, Fox Sam Smith. Mm. We'll see you next week. Peace. Hey.